Boys, I um I started the I started doing ultimates this week with my FC and damn <sighs> Ultimates got hands, dude. Ultimates got fucking hands. <laughs> I mean I was doing fine. I was doing great. Um It's just hard to get like eight people all doing mechanics and we have one raid day a week. Oh, that's the worst part. Is we have one day a week we can even raid. We're doing a woo. Um, we we got past Garuda. Well, we didn't get past Garuda, but we like basically got past Garuda. We did all of Garuda's mechanics and then died when she was like a one percent, right? Um, so we we did Garuda. So we're gonna try and do Ifrit this week. We're gonna try and awaken Ifrit. Um, it's. I really don't like how infrequently we, we raid, but it's it's just scheduling's hard, man. It's the hardest part of raiding, is actually like getting everyone together. And then once you've gotten everyone together, like getting everyone to watch a fucking guide and, oh, it like that's the difficulty, bro. It it's not even the actual fight that that's like the hardest. This <laughs> is the fucking management of it all. All right, what do you? I think I spoke to him. Yeah, I spoke to this guy last time. Bye. <laughs> scheduling ratings like scheduling D&D. &D. Yeah, but it's twice as bad because you have twice the people. It's so much worse. Oh my god. Anyway, so last time we we liberated the Great Wood and everything. And then Minfilia was like, guys, I can track down the Light Warden in Amarang. I can communicate with old Menphilia and find the the light warden with the old Menphilia's powers um so I, I i reckon today is gonna be pretty chill i'm sensing a bit of a lull in the story not gonna lie not got my hopes super up for like a crazy cutscene happening today so i think we can relax i think we can relax and be sure that today is gonna be chill <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so insistent, but I know this is the only way. If you're willing to give me a chance, come with us. Did we beat Ke Kefka Savage? We just ow! I just meant my tongue. <laughs> we decided not to do Kefka Savage because um, uh, we just we like we knew we could beat it, and we figured like let's just go into woo woo already. Let's just do a woo instead. Yo, heightened style. Think of the prime, man. Five months. God, you guys. It's actually crazy you guys sub to me. Like, you could sub to, like, another streamer and get, like, a billion more, like, emotes. But, I mean, why would you even... <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that as if emotes are, like, a thing people even use. Guys, I, I don't know why you would sub to anyone on Twitch. Just talk. Just be the streamer, and then you don't have to buy emotes. <laughs> Fat cat moves since last stream? No, no. Sloppy. Chat, let me know if it moves. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I'm ready now. Are you sure you want to do this? Completely sure. Yeah, I mean, I think she's all good. I think she, I, I think she's gonna be fine. Okay, I, I'm a, I'm gonna be real with you boys. I'm gonna lay it all out flat on the table. My predictions for today's stream. Um, I reckon that today, Minfilia is gonna communicate with her past menphilia so it's adult menphilia they're gonna do some shit they're gonna fuck around and find out the light warden's gonna go wango or something it's gonna go crazy and then old menphilia is gonna sacrifice herself and then young menphilia baby menphilia she's gonna dye her hair red or orange and become rain and become a lesbian and have a hot girlfriend.
that's my thought process for today. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, it's not like I know this happens right now or anything. Like, I, I could be totally wrong. All I know is that a character called Rain exists. That's all I know. But I think if it's gonna happen, today today might be a, a good a good time, right? Noted, lesbians defeat light. It is Pride Month, baby. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> Yo, VR Mama Llama. Thank you. For the tier, tier three. Oh shit, you're running. Appreciate it. You know, I remember I I subbed a Pokemon once. Tier three. She didn't even read my name. And I, you know what? I forgot to remove it, and was then like a tier three subscription to Pokemon for like four months. That's how, it, that's how it goes, baby. I'm loyal. I don't need her to read my name. She'd read your name. Quaid. Quaid, do people know how do you say your name? Actually, I actually feel like they do. Do you guys know how fucking often people mispronounce pint? Like, it's a real word, and they say pint. I don't, I don't get it. It's a word. How? <laughs> Tint? Yeah. Yeah. How do you say pint wrong? Exactly, man. I don't... I'll give people a pass if they're, like, European. Maybe it's not their, like, first language. English, right? Maybe they, d they don't use that measurement in their country. But you fucking Americans. You guys need to get your act together. You speak this, you speak this fucking language on main. And, and you go around saying pint. And it, you know what it's worse? Like, when a European says pint, it's like, hey, pint, pint. But, like, an American saying pint is so visceral. It's like, hey, pint. Hey. Hey, howdy, pint. Yo, pint. What's up, man? It, it's like, bro. <laughs> That's your language. We're really going to do it like that. <laughs> to be fair, though, like, same accent, saying pint sounds so weird to me. If I hear like an American go like, "Yo, pint," ugh, ugh, ugh. It's one of those names I'm only okay with reading. <laughs> Call me Pjont from now on. It's what I do for my Swedish viewers. You'll say we with the four months and Ultimax with the eighteen months. Look at that fucking year-long badge. I need to get new badges soon. All right, Minfilia, what's up? What's what's happening? Look, no matter what happens, I'm sure I don't want to. I'm sure that I don't want to go back to being who I was. I want to be stronger, strong enough to face my destiny, and I want to believe that I can play a part in saving this world. Old Minfilia is dead. Old Minfilia is fully dead. She's totally gonna die. She's gonna sacrifice herself for Baby Minfilia. Baby Minfilia is gonna live, hundred thousand percent. It's not even close. I've, I've never been more right about a plot point. I hope you can find it in yourself to believe it too. Yeah, I could. I guess you could say I believe it. That is a way of saying that. <laughs> when you put it that way, how could we not? Bro, your stall is short. She's like the same height as... <laughs> not, not quite the same height, but still. It is your decision to make. Just be sure that you're prepared when the time comes. If all are assembled, shall we depart? We'll follow your lead. What route would you have us take? About that, there's something I neglected to mention. I saw your Morn airship coming in to land over Amarang while I was on the way back to the Crystarium. No doubt the same vessel that, uh, that bore Vorthri's forces to Rektika. <sighs> Meaning we can expect to encounter armed resistance on our journey through the region. What will it take for us to fucking just declare war on these people and kill them all? Well, maybe not all of them. But, like, what will it take for us to declare war? Like, fuck me, man. They're everywhere. Jesus Christ. These Yulmoran guys. Assholes, man. I don't want to deal with them everywhere. 
I'm the fucking warrior of light. Can I not just like hide them up? Can I just fucking LB3 him? Come on. I've killed gods, icons. And these are dudes, man. Ugh. Fine. Fine. They can go on living. Fine. <laughs> right now, Nabath Areng lies in the southern reaches of Amarang. And there are two routes we can take to get over there. All right, what, <laughs> what are the two routes? Is it perhaps the one? Oh, there's like there's like a shaded out part. The first is the eastern route that would lead us past Mordsuk. The other is the western route, and that requires us to get through the hills of Amber. Midfilia and I took the eastern route last time. Yes, that is the well-trodden path, and it also makes it easier to. For the fucking traversal of the Nabath Severance. Yo, order five. Thank you for the tier one, by the way, man. Appreciate it. But we can't use it. If we did, we'd need to cross the Severance from a point nearby the inn at Journey's Head. If the Yolmorans caught wind of our approach, it could very well bring them into contact with the inn and its patients, and we can make sure the activities would not meet Vorthree's approval. <laughs> It will make the journey more arduous, but I believe it would be safer if we take the western route, which brings me to my proposition. While you make for the hills of Amber in the west, I will draw your Moran's attention elsewhere, to the area in the east. Really? That sounds like dangerous to do that. That way you'll have a chance of reaching Nabath uh, Arang unopposed and without risking civilians. But what about you, dear sister? I cannot deny that it sounds like a plan, nor can I allow you to go alone. My skills will make your task at least somewhat easier, will they not? I will accompany you as well. It will afford us a chance to have a proper conversation. <laughs> they want to have a talk. And if I go with the others, I'm likely to say something Sankred will regre regret. What? Why? That's mean. You can't just shoot like that. Well then, we'll leave the work of distracting Vorthri's forces to you. The rest of us will take the western route and try to avoid attracting attention. With that in mind, I think it best that we follow the road from the bridges. We'll move faster with a, a solid path under our feet. <laughs> I'll take it. Dude, she's, she's, she hasn't quite forgiven him for his vulnerability. He can be vulnerable. Men can be vulnerable can happen we'll borrow a, f borrow a few Amaro for their own journey I'll leave the rest to you Manfilia thank you I'll try not to disappoint oh my god Everyone needs a fucking therapy session in this goddamn game, bro. <laughs> it's fucked up. Greetings, greetings. How goes the war? Wait, these are like NPCs. I thought they were all my friends. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm traveling to the west. Man, I, uh, I've been watching now. This isn't like my usual MO chat. I'm not usually like this. Okay. So forgive me, but I've been watching, um, a normie show. I've been watching, uh, I've been watching Stranger Things season four. Haven't finished it yet, but, um, I, uh, I noticed that I look like, uh, I look like one of the characters in that show. It's every character. I look like every single fucking character in Stranger Things. Every every single fucking one of them. I look like every if you if you like combined every face in in fucking Stranger Things into one person, it's me. <laughs> and like it sucks cuz you get to a scene and you're like, "Wow, that guy's hair is fucking dumb." Well, I guess that's just the fucking 90s though, right, fellas? Lamal, and I look in a mirror and it's like, oh, right, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 
Or at least it makes me feel less like original. Because I'm like, ooh, look at me with my unique hair color and style. Not color. It's my unique hairstyle. Wow. No one else has hair like me. I'm so fucking cool. And then it's like, mm, fucking grandpa got me beat. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm the stranger thing. That's me. <laughs> That's the stranger thing. Pint. Is it the 80s? I thought it was the 90s. Maybe it's like early 90s. I'm a, I'm a sucker for 80s music though, man. Oh my god, that's my shit right there. City pop? Mm. Oh. <laughs> It'll be fine if you switch to the pit ponytails. True, true, true. I need like the fan service of... of the thing is, like, you couldn't tell. Like, if I split my hair into two... How's that any, any fucking different, you know? It looks like the same with headphones on. <laughs> Alright, Thancred. There you are. The gate leading to Amarang is just a he up ahead. In all the time I've been here, I've never ventured into the Hills of Amber. Not that I'm particularly intimidated by new lands at this point. Uh, but, we have some, but we have more than enough reasons to be cautious as is. Keep an eye on Menphilia, would you? For me. <laughs> yeah, Thancred. Oh, <laughs> Dude, where'd she, where'd she go? No, no, I just said I'd keep an eye on her. What? This isn't funny, Manfili. Where, where are you hiding? Dude, I'm such a bad babysitter. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep an eye on her. <laughs> I like how Joe's been RP walking here this whole time. <laughs> Your hearties, what's up, man? You were Alfie with two months. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, off so soon, Mistress Frumpy Rat. You barely had time to recover from the battle. I don't I don't know who this person is. Well, if you're certain, I'm hardly in a position to question you. Oh, this this okay, this place has good music, but it is another Take desert. Comfort in the bonds you share. Accept the pain when the time comes to part. Press on, for joy and sorrow walk hand in hand. Dude, she's told like old Beyond Manfili is totally Garrick, dying this this, this episode. Amber, beneath which run hidden veins of mineral wealth. I like this place now. Or ran, at least. Oh, never mind. Mayhap they are spent. <laughs> or mayhap the ringing of hammers can yet be heard below. Yeah, this is the old hour of the of the the thirst. Sloppy. Oh yeah, I'm working on a new video, dude. Don't you worry about that. A couple more months now. <laughs> Little squinty thing with the prime. Appreciate it, sir. <laughs> Fucking job, job. This place has been scarred by the flood too. Who can say what lies ahead? Um. I think an amber iguana lies ahead. But whatever else this road may be, it is mine to travel, and I don't plan on taking I don't plan to take a moment of of the time I spend upon it for granted. Hold on, hold that thought. <laughs> One second, Mephilia, I gotta Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Yeah, hundred percent. Thank her, what's up, what's up man? What's up? I take it you're seeing what I'm seeing. Finding a village when we're hardly ten, ten paces into the hills is hardly a stroke of good luck. Oh, oh yeah, a, a village. That's what that is. <laughs> That's not just three houses, especially given our recent fortunes. But you won't hear any complaints from me. Let's see if the folk who live there can tell us what to expect of the road ahead. I guess in the first, a village would probably be about like two houses. They don't exactly have much for in infrastructure in this place, do they? I can't believe the Philly gets to have three deaths. <laughs> Gee, Billy. <laughs> the Crystal X aren't glad you have three dads. <sighs> okay. 
some streamers have their own gripes. Noble doesn't like Ardbert. Preach doesn't like L Lease, I think. Yotsu, I don't know. Yotsu, I couldn't watch his stream, so spoilers. Pyromancer, uh, his chat. <laughs> Rich playing the game. Anyway, every streamer has their likes and dislikes. But for me, it's uh it's the Turtle Beast tribe from 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 Stormblood, and it's these fucking kobolds. Not into them. I'm not into the the fucking kobolds. I'm not really not man. I think they're weird. They're annoying. I think their lore is boring. I think they just l fucking live in the desert. Nope. I don't like them. They're cute. No, they're not. They are cringe. They, they're like a... They're like, like, replace them with goblins. We should have goblins instead of kobolds. I look like Eleven and Stranger Things. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I get, I get that a lot. <laughs> See? Let's fucking look at this shit. Is that merch coming from Pine? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. I mean, soon. Soon. <laughs> I've been saying soon for like a year, but yeah, soon. <laughs> the cues are my warrior of light? No, they're not. Look at them. They're just like, they're like goblins, but worse. I've got hair on my fucking eye. Aren't gnomes just green skinned goblins? In a wow, but wow is stupid. Fuck wow. Nobody likes wow. <laughs> yeah, my warrior of light actually looks like me. I like my warrior of light is slowly looking more like me, and I'm slowly looking more like my warrior of light. It's we'll meet in the middle and just be a, a perfect being. <laughs> right. You know what though? As much as I hate them, I'm not one to half-ass anything. <laughs> You sell? No, no, you are no merchant. But then, why do I know your face? Hmm. Oh, I fucking can't. This sucks. I hate. I hate. All right. A dying hair red. When? Maybe I should follow Annie. Annie Fuchsia. Do do her hair. Maybe. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I need like a different voice, man. Oh, I remember. That's too, like, posh, though. They're, like, more feral than that. Ooh! <laughs> I re that's That's like a gnome. Ugh. I think I had it. Oh. Oh, I remember. You you spent robot gold. <laughs> that's it. Smeagol, Smeagol, that's it. Fuck, my throat's gonna hate me by the end of this. Such a coin pass cracking. You are already legend among more traders. You're a traveling merchant then. Can you tell us anything of this village? Bruh, my, I, I don't know what it is about my voice today, but I can't, I, I can't hit it. I think it's too hot. It's very humid. Of course. Anything. Wait, fucking, I, I, I gotta get this. I gotta, there's gonna be like a billion kobolds tonight. Of course. Anything for value customers. This place is Garrick. Before the flood, it was home to many miners. After, not so many. Now, none. So Master Gengen borrowed the village, made it into a trading post. Very convenient location. In which case, you must all be familiar with the local roads, correct? We're on our way to Nabatharang ourselves. If we continue south from here, Will we have any difficulties reaching it? Oh yes, great difficulty. The flood rent the stone and crushed the mines surrounding Nabatha Ring. Only steep cliffs and collapsed tunnels remain. Oh no. But surely there must be some other way. Do you think any of the other Mord might have some sort of hidden route? Yeah, let's get, let's get a kobold with us the whole time. Yeah. Perhaps. You ask, they tell. Tell for free, even. To friends of our best customer. Oh, we get to talk to a bunch of different kobolds? Cool, man. Badass. Wonderful. 
Wait, uh, wonderful. Thank you for your help. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> New scion? No, man. I don't want any kobolds in the science. I know, I know fucking Alice's got her little friend. You know? No, no, I don't want to deal with that, man. <laughs> well then, best customer, let's see what information your reputa reputation buys us. Yeah, man, let's, I can't wait. Let's go, man. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe if I find the right one first try, I don't have to do that many voices. Gone, gone. What's up, dog? When the Batharang's airship is best, nothing is faster than an airship. The old Morans have one, I hear. You can ask them to take you. Okay. Oh, it's a talk to three guys mission. I can I can deal with that. That means I don't have to read them out. That means I get to just fucking skip through it because it's all flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Job Job's the worst character. Never gets any character development. I beg your pardon. Job Job, come out here. Show yourself. <laughs> Job Job has had many, many character developments recently. A new haircut, dare I say. Alright, alright, I'll read this one. You wish to go to Nabatharang? Hmm. There was once a way. A gondola fl f down from the cliffs was built for those who had something left behind that they wished to retrieve. Now there is nothing left and none of us use it. You may search for it if you like, but I doubt that its rusted wi wi wires will bear your weight. Fuck you, man. I've been on a diet. <laughs> Job Job arguably gets the most character development. Amen. How Job Job get to the first? That's that's a question we'll have to find out in the next episode. Ah, pint. I'm afraid I've, I'm afraid I've learned little of use on how to reach Nabatharang. The Omoran presence, though, is another matter. Apparently, though the army is definitely in Amarang. There have been no sightings of your Morans in the Hills of Amber. Perhaps we can take that as a sign that Alice's path has borne fruit. Did you have any better luck finding us a route forward? Yeah, man, I fucking took these napkins too. You want them? <laughs> Job Job's an Asian. Ass I take that. I take that. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. You know what? Canon. It's canon now. So, these are all of our options. Well, what do you think? Or maybe I'm an Asian and Jub Jub's the one warrior of life. Gate aside, uh, the trolley seems most feasible. Can we get an airship anywhere? Not from 4 3, obviously. I can try the gondola, I might die, but eh. Yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> I'd rather not if it's all the same to you. If it went poorly, we simply couldn't wave our hands and vanish into the aether like, like Yashtola. Not that I would recommend it, even if we could. Trolley? It does seem to be the least risky of our options. I can't imagine one gate is enough to thwart you. I'd like to know a bit more before we dash off in search of it, though. Perhaps Zuzun, Zunzun can, Zunzun can offer some insight. Yeah, man. Let's talk to him more. Yeah, I, I, I'd love to know a little more before, before we go as well, man. Oh, valued customer. Where were the other board of help? No. No, they weren't. Of a fashion, they told us of a trolley that runs from Nabatha Rang, at least. But are, am I correct in thinking that there was a reason you did not yourself say so when first asked? Mm, yes, the gate you see. It is impassable. Before, there was a hulking thing of stone. The Talos. It opened the gates, they say. But none operate such a thing now. I do not even know if it yet exists. I can't. I can't. I can't. But I... But I fucking don't... <laughs> I do not know, but you should travel east to Mount Bur Burren Mines. That is where the trolley stands, uh, control stands. I still see the miners there from time to time. If anyone knows what happens, tell us. 
to the Talos. It would be them. Thank you. You've been a great help. Guess what, chat? I don't have to do a voice for every character all the time. I'm free. I can just do voices when I can do them. Pog. Fuck, I said Pog. I'm trying to say Pog less. I believe I can. We're off to Mount Baron then. Let's hope that someone will fucking be there to answer our, qu answer our questions. <laughs> answer, yes. <laughs> Splendid. <laughs> no, we, we don't need a pog count. I'm not going to say it again. That's entirely unnecessary. <laughs> you randomly say Omega lol. You know what? I remember, like, as a kid, I, like... In, like, a call with my friends, I would say out loud, lol. <laughs> I'd be like, lol. <laughs> Look at this character development. You seeing this? Seeing this haircut? That's different. That's new. Cowboy? How'd she become a cowboy? That's crazy. <laughs> and can fly? Wild. Follow your dreams, Jump Jump. Follow your dreams. <laughs> Ow, I bit my tongue again. I'm spitting, I'm fucking biting my tongue. Like, I bit my tongue more than I've said pog today. I still say lol out loud. Out loud. Yeah, but we said it like normally. We we said lol like like we'd actually just be laughing at something. We'd be like lol, <laughs> lol, <laughs> lol. But. <laughs> Cheeto and I say lol as like a, a bit of a goofy, you know, we're playing around a bit. We're like, lol, <laughs> gonna wipe the raid, lol. You know, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a bit. But before, man, I don't know. I just said lol, like all the time. The scale of the track is impressive. I'll give them that. Now we only need to follow it until we come to the mines. Whoa. What the fuck? That's up. That's that's like not down. I'm trying to get down, aren't I? Oh, but there's a gate. Yeah. That's right. The thing the quest was telling me about the whole time. So if I'm correct, mobs, yeah, mobs don't aggro if you're behind them. But they do aggro if you're in front of them. So I've been I've been um, doing Eureka and that is a very significant piece of information. Um, and that that's that's. That's actually useful. Look at that. Fucking 10 Final Fantasy tips and tricks you, you may not have known. Depends on the mob. Yeah, some are activated by sound, but for the most part, it's just behind them. You're good. I actually prefer the, the audio-based mobs because it means that I can, like, like, pull more of them at once. Pint Pro Tip. Amen. I unironically say Lamau get owned. I, I, I say Lamau too. Lamau is actually pretty common, I find. Dude, I'm in Pyros by now, man. I've I've been gaming. I've I've dealt with my void dragons. I know about the sound one. That shit sucks. Wait. That's That's a gnome? <laughs> I don't think that's a gnome chat. <laughs> Damn, look at the size. Okay, okay. You know what? Maybe I can get behind it. <laughs> What's up, Philly? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> this lever can't have been designed for a person to operate. Oh, she's looking at the lever. See, because it kind of looks like she's not looking at the lever. She's <laughs> looking at the the brick. It's a first gnome, but isn't what's like a what even is a gnome from not the first? A golem? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get the Ozma mount. That's what I'm going for. Bit of a mess, isn't it? But the mechanisms for dispatching the trolley are here, just as Zunzun said. Unfortunately, anyone who might know how to use them is not. 
Uh, we might wait for Zunzun's mystery, mysterious miners to appear. Or we could... <laughs> I don't want to hear the term mysterious miners ever again. Or have a look around and see if we can deduce anything useful in their absence. I'm in favor of the latter. Something near the entrance to the mines, proper court Orion's Jay's eye. Meet us there if you find anything. All right, man. Um, you know what? I'm, sm I'm smelling something right over here. Yeah, yeah, right here. I found it, an iron rail. Wonderful. Flecks of rust adorn the rails, but they nevertheless appear sturdy enough to bear the trolley without issue. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> This is going to be one of those quests. Uh, it might, might well be. Might well be. I'm on the right track. Good to hear. Thank you, Scarlet. Appreciate it. <laughs> I do get off track quite a bit on streams. Um, no. No, I pride myself on being good at finding things. This can't be. I I can't not have found something immediately. Ah, yes. Okay, so if there was two Lollafells on this road and five Lollafells on this road, how do you hit all of them at once? Amusingly, the 14 sylphs, while green and floaty, are aligned to lightning due to Ramu. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Is it inside? That's where I'd put it. Yeah. Multi-track drifting, baby. That's right. The cup is slightly warm with a fair amount of tea. Steeped over long. If the color is any indication of what remains within. Slightly warm. Slightly warm. Someone was here. I know it. Are, um, are all, like, are all the beast tribes, like, or the tribes primals, are they all, like, um, I don't think they're all, like, super similar to the guy they summon. Like, Alexander isn't, like, a male or a, or a female or a at all, right? I think they can just summon whatever primal they feel like. Ah, Pint, what hast thou discerned? I see. Indeed, thine observations are consistent with mine own. But let us refrain from further discussion ere our comrades arrive. I fucking love Ariane Jay. He's actually maybe my he might be my favorite scion. He's got no bullshit with him, you know. I guess he does. He's got a bit of bullshit, but he hasn't got like beef. I mean, look at Shinryu. Exactly. Exactly. Ample evidence of recent maintenance with the lukewarm tea besides... Hmm. Yeah, someone was here. The levers for switching the track looked like they were in good condition, though I couldn't move them myself. No ordinary person could, I think. It is my belief that no person is meant to. <gasps> oh, shit. They got Freddy Fazbear. This Talos beareth more than a passing resemblance to the golems of the source. Nor doth it appear to be the sole example of its kind. The, pro the pro proliferation of Talos fragments, as well as the enormity of its mechanisms here, suggest that a considerable number were once in operation. Alas, this specimen and its fellows now lie li lifeless and broken, <laughs> and I know not how to repair them, that they might facilitate our passage through, through the gate. And without the aid of Talos... Even if thou wert somehow able to unbar the trolley's path, we would still have no means of propelling it. We might not know how to prepare Telos, but someone must. Otherwise, why keep everything else in working order? Whoever is maintaining the car cars and rails must know something that we don't. Well, who is it, man? 
Let's ask them what it is, shall we? Pint, I do believe you'll find a person of some interest skulking in the shadows behind the warehouse on the northwestern side of the tracks. What? You just knew, you just knew about him? While you two will have a friendly chat, the rest of us will gently encourage those to the south to come out of hiding. Defend yourself as necessary, of course. Uh, but do try and keep everyone in one piece. Weeb. <laughs> Off we go, then. I did his. I did the Thancred voice wrong in that whole cutscene. He's like, "Off we go then." <laughs> Off we go then. <laughs> He's mean. He's a madge guy. He's got no bullshit in his goals. Only words and acting. Yeah, like, like uh, Arian Jade. Paul. He do, he does some Among Us sometimes. He he does do some a little bit of sus, like stuff, but it, it's it's in the interest of his based goals. Like, he, he doesn't have silly goals. Alright. Alright. What's this person going to look like? Oh, a person. <laughs> I th really, man? Alright. This is like, wow, but oh my god. Alright. Alright, yeah, no, I guess I'll kill them. I guess I'll spam holy. What are you saying, chat? What do you guys want to talk about for the next fucking 30 seconds? <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually gonna fucking take forever, dude. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> Alright, no, 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 we're good, we're good. I actually don't think Holy's, like, worth using the... <clears throat> uh, Mr. Pint, please enlighten me on the topic of whether or not you've done any Hildebrand quest. I've done a little bit of Hildebranding in my days. Um, I actually have. I've done a, a wee bit. I must say, I, uh, I've i only done as much Hildebrand as... I, I think I did, like, the first quest where, like, the bomb explodes. Um, and I was like, that was okay. And then I, like, never went back. Because I was like, I'll save the rest of the stream. Alright, I'm going Red Mage for this. I, I don't want to fucking deal with that again, man. Wicked White. Where did you come from? Oh, never mind that. You've no business here. Of that, I'm sure. I fucking knew it, bro. That That's it. I could have fought them all together. Bro, I'm doing like my perfect opener on this poor man. I'm level 90. <laughs> this poor fella. <laughs> I don't know. I find it really, really hard to do... um non-voiced stuff on stream like uh like i want to do the dark knight quest line but it, it's so it's so much dude it's 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 like hours of like not really having a break and barely even getting to talk to chat because of how because of yeah because of it all But to hear. These two weren't much trouble either. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. Us? We're not the the, the brigands. We're not the brigands come to to take what. We're, we're not the the brigands come to take what isn't. What? What? <laughs> Hire some voice actors to sit in the call with you? That's like... That's fucking not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Would you guys be down for that? That could be cool. Like, get like get like w at least one voice actor to just like read out... The, the NPC's quest. That sounds kind of cool. I kind of like that. Huh. Do you know any voice actors? I have friends that might be able to do voices decently well. But, like, 
I don't know if I don't know if it's better to have like friends for that chemistry, or if it's better for like the to a voice actor for the the premium voice acting. Or I could get like a voice actor, but like maybe just like a guy who just kind of does a good voice, and then just like play the audio. Like I could pre-record it. Hmm. Exploit FC members for gain. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. We'll have like voice auditions in the guild. You know, I kind of like that idea. Maybe I will do that. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Well, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that after. Yo, who, who fucking suggested that? I'm going to give you a bit of a shout out. Yo, KJP. Thank you, man. That's, that's a cool idea. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Do we honestly look like we need to steal? What? Some rusted bits of iron? Don't be absurd. We're not here to rob you. A likely story. You look well. <laughs> Vine boom sound effect. <laughs> you don't look normal, that's for certain. You don't have any wares. You're clearly not merchants. Travelers never pass this way. The only reason you would come all this way out here is to strip the machinery of its parts. Oh, Thef, I have a, I have an idea. What if once upon a time, a lovely lady of noble birth ventured forth in search of her lost love, joining by her most loyal servants, sworn to follow unto her world, unto the world's end. On their journey, they met a sorcerer as ancient as time itself. Moved by the lady's devotion, he offered to be their guide, and they turned up here somehow. I can only assume you're being intentionally obtuse. But in the unlikely event that that's a serious conjecture, no. I'm s I am suppose I am a bodyguard of sort, but we have a rather large concern than a fairy tale of romances. Yeah. Though, though I would fain to hear more of this ageless sorcerer and his heroic deeds. Gods grant me strength. Um, if I may... We're actually searching for a means by which to travel to Nabathering. We were hoping that the trolley might might here solve a solution. Offer a solution. I realize we haven't got off to the best of starts, but if you know anything about how we might get it working again. The trolley? The trolley! You should have led with that. We we're always keen to discuss the trolley. We're both engineers in training, in fact. Jarek and Saf at your service. Technically, I'm a miner. All right, cool. He's 17. Uh, <laughs> he does the repair work, but our true passion is the trolley. We're working. We're working with a few other folks to get it set up and running again. And before you ask, yes, it's true that there's it that there's little in the need of transportation these days. But that's no reason to consign the miracle of mechanical innovation to dust. In the mere sight of it traveling back on the track once again would make hearts sore. Mark my words. You'll hear no argument from us. What progress have you made thus far? Not, mu not as much as we'd like, truth be told. Well, is there anything we could do to assist you? We could gather materials or help put pieces together. It's a sight more complicated than that, I'm afraid. If you spoke with Magnus... He'd understand. You'd understand. He's the only one with full knowledge on the trolley's operation. I fucking told you this would be a slower, slower episode chat. <laughs> Just a fucking trolley episode. Okay. I suppose you could speak with him if you'd like. We'll introduce you. <laughs> At least it's fun or NPCs. Oh, Preach is a trolley fan, huh? Okay. You know what? Maybe it's maybe it's not so bad after all. Very well. Our operations are limited. And if this Magnus can explain whatever is preventing the trolley from being restored, I'd like to hear it. Good evening, Pint. I accidentally missed the stream notification, so I missed the first half um, of stream. Could you please go back and start stream over, please? Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, sure, you got it. All right.
Hello, fellas. How you doing today? Um, so we're going to be doing MSQ today as usual. Um, if you last remember where we left off, we were in the, um, we were, that's right. We were halfway through the dialogue for the trolley quest. Um, we just, I've left my computer on overnight, um, for the, for the past week. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to be picking up from here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Right, it looks like you'll be following us back to Twine then. Yes, yes. Oh, um... I'm actually, I kind of want to be White Mage. Um, so I guess maybe we will start off. <laughs> I can skip the cutscene. Though. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Saf, what's up, man? Rust and Ruin. You know what? At least these fellas are fun. I like this guy's outfit. I I, I kind of want it. I can they bring fucking like trench coats back? Put the Thomas the Tank Engine theme song in the background during this quest line. I would, but I upload my vods to my vod channel, and that's copyrighted. And I get a lot of money from making from uploading to my vod channel, so I kind of I kind of want I kind of want money. <laughs> Yo, Hunter Warrior, eleven months, man. Look at you. Oh my god. I, I, actually, I, I kind of like streamer. I feel like we got... It feels good to have people who will, like, come back, you know? <laughs> yeah, I almost worried, like, yeah, what if all my stream people are just new people every time? <laughs> uh, Alright. If you're ready, we can leave right now. Though, you haven't seen another fellow around here, have you? I thought he might have come out by now. It is June. You think he'll be alright? That's a... Uh, well, I suppose you did force out your hand a bit. <clears throat> I'll have a look just in case. You go ahead, Thaf. Right. Looks like it'll uh, just be you you lot and me, then. <laughs> Try not to take anything... Try not to let anything take a bite out of you on the way, way to the rail yard. Yeah, yeah. More money equals potentially more jokes. Real. True. More money means I can just fucking throw money at projects I want to do <laughs> without having to worry about rent. I love that. <laughs> like, on guard, bro, I feel like I'm like... Okay. If we want to get into my finances real quick. <laughs> I feel like the only thing I, like, fucking want in life is, like... Like, more, uh, the only reason I'd need, like, more money for, for me, is I want a car, right? I Like, not, not like, a good one. I just want to be able to, like, transport my fucking self, right? And in the rest, I just want to fucking spend money on, like, yeah, I'm making a game show now. Yeah, I gave, like, fucking $30,000 to artists to just fucking draw something. You know what I mean? As, yeah, life-size, you're still a sex doll. Exactly. Like, I I want to spend, like, $500 on a car, and then, like, $40,000 on a, Yush like, life-size Yushtola. <laughs> like, a full latex Yushtola bodysuit. You put it on, you just become Yushtola. <laughs> it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. <laughs> Damn, that smarts. Why do you have to thump me so hard? I'll be feeling that for the next fortnight. At least. <laughs> Not to be done about it now, though. I pointed over eager... I pointed your over-eager companions in the right direction, and they've gone on ahead. So we need to get moving. Normally, we'd we'd walk atop the tracks, but seeing as the young lady is m a much shorter stride, stride, that's more perilous a route than I'm comfortable suggesting. Wouldn't want anyone falling through the gaps. Of course. Uh, I mean, have you seen me? <laughs> of course the low road presents other dangers. But having seen... That's funny, man. No, that's, that's funny. That's, that's silly. <laughs> yeah, it's, we, had, we had quite the trolley problem, right, guys? Oh my god, my wife has appeared, and she's armed with a gun. <laughs> That's right. 
That's <laughs> just off he walks away. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Fucking pensive cowboy. Um, what were you saying, sir? Oh, that was the fucking last line, bro. Oh my god. It's happened twice this stream. <laughs> Hold on, chat. Hold on. Oh my god, she's fast. <laughs> no. Don't aggro on me, man. Uh-oh. That's that thing's looking right at the quest NPC. <laughs> Wait a moment, I think I hear something. Yeah, um, yeah, I think I do too. <laughs> that may may hurt a may hear a thing or two, maybe. Oh, that's something. All right, run. Oh, okay, I'll run. Bro, <laughs> what is fucking happening? Job's character development, she saved your life? Twice. And and I guess I guess she's pro gun. <laughs> what are Job Job's politics? <laughs> that's what we all that's what the everyone's asking. <laughs> Soul Kandra, thank you for the tier one, man. I appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to the the gaming. Welcome to the gaming. Chuck Murdoch Prime 2? Alright, alright. Okay, okay, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> Dude, I uh I watched um the uh, the bow the bow burnum the bro burnum outside outtake inside outtakes. And goddamn I fucking love inside, bro. I love it so much. I'm like one of the Minecraft YouTubers in the comments that with the check mark, and I try and farm as many up updates as possible. No, I fucking love inside, man. It's so good. The chicken song. Oh, the chicken song. Oh. Oh. If you guys have not seen inside, bro, it's so good. I feel like I'm a bit of a musical liker, though. I quite like my songs. Sorry about that, I'll admit. I didn't expect this route to be quite so fraught with danger. We're nearly to Twine, though. We should uh, make it without further incident. I'd, I'd hope so. I'd love inside, too. Haven't been outside in three years. That's, that's how it goes. I should be moving soon, because I kind of have the same problem. But it, for me, it's less like... um, it's, it's like my job, right? I don't really go out much, but that's not why I don't go out much. I don't go out much, because I live in, like... The middle of an extremely busy city, um, so it like it's. I I want to go outside and hear like the birds and and the and the the wind blowing and not like fucking traffic and and like crowds of people all over the fucking place, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> this is it. Welcome to Trine. Twine. Trine. Twine. The original dwellings were built to house those laborers tasked with building the track. Over time, miners came to seek their fortunes, and that's what made the town grow into what you see today. But it was still the trolley that brought them here. The blessed trolley. <laughs> As you've doubtless witnessed, the track goes into the very heart of the town. It was the heart of the town. Back when the trolley still carried everyone home at the end of each hard day in the mines. And now there is no trolley. Nor much work to be had in the mines, for that matter. The only residents that remain are the destitute, delusional, and those with nowhere else to go, or so they say. That should give you some indication of what to expect when you meet Magnus. As I said, I will help you understand why we can't get the trolley running. Just don't expect too much aside from that. Well, that's encouraging, but I don't see how we have much choice. Let's go meet the man. Alright, chat. Um, I gotta be here back because I, I actually, like, fucking forgot to eat. So I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna grab a... Actually, maybe, maybe we don't do that right now. 
Fuck, I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, do I do I take my work break? Oh, I have been working for an hour. That is awfully. That's an awfully long time for me. All right, I'm gonna make it happen. I'm now. Uh, I, I do I have like a video of mine that I can play? You know. Oh. Oh, I actually do. Like. <laughs> I think. I think my second channel like uploaded a video, but whatever, man. I'm, it's a fucking stream highlight video. I'll, I'm I'm gonna play you like some real shit from my main channel. You guys deserve it. And then that way I can double up my content, and I and I get to eat today. <laughs> I should have eaten first, but hey, hey, at least you guys get my content here. Um, all right, let me just put the text up. That's the wrong text, but I'll change it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be right back. Black Mage is the highest damaging class in Final Fantasy, but it's also the most difficult. Its reputation is so insane that many high-end raiders are too scared to even try it. But not me. Black Mage is in my blood. It's actually quite a serious medical issue. And without me, you're not gonna last a second out there, buddy. But worry not, my friend. I will teach you everything. Leveling for a black mage is a rite of passage. It tests the limits of the pain you can take, because if you can't handle this, then you won't survive a suboptimal ley lines. Either the pain, it breaks you, or you simply live with the pain. <laughs> ah. But always remember, kids, no matter how bad it gets, it always gets better at 50, 60, uh, 70. Um, now, do you think you're ready to level a black mage? Think again. You have to prepare your weak mind and body. Steal yourselves with passion and fervor. Prepare for the hellish quest that lies before you. My first class was a black mage, and it is true what they say. No mobility, an awful rotation, and worst of all, bad damage. But every class struggles with something. Ninjas don't get AoE till level 38. Summoners kinda suck till, till they get to like 80. I, I don't know, I don't play summoner, they're like a fake mage class, fuck summoner. And yes, black mage might just be the worst class at low levels, but you have something that they don't. A giant hat. And a future. A destiny. A promise, if you will. A promise that you will become a god. A promise that you will become a being of pure <laughs> violence. Oh my, have I said too much. I mean, kinda. People keep telling me it gets better at level 50, and then at 60, and then at 70. When will it actually get f fun? All right, chat. I've got a fucking take. My bread's my bread's fucking toasting right now. But bro, I feel like this video is paced so badly after the intro. Leveling for bra th this part's pretty good, but then like this part to like this part to like this part maybe. I don't. I don't know. It's it's. I, I guess you can't see my cameras there, right? But like. I don't know, man. I feel like, like, from here to, like, here is just, like, bad. It's, like, 30 seconds of just, like, bad. And it's, like, m maybe you guys, to you guys, it doesn't matter that much. But to me, 30 seconds of bad at, like, the start of my video is, like, ugh. Ugh. At the start. Bah. I could do so much better now. It's it's okay. It's not like bad, bad, but it's uh, it could be better. All right. Anyway, let me. Uh, <laughs> Where is it? It's here, right? All right. I'm gonna make my sandwich. I'll be right back. My first class was a black mage, and it is true what they say: no mobility, an awful rotation, and worst of all, bad damage. But every class struggles with something. Ninjas don't get AoE till level 38. Summoners kind of suck till till they get to like 80. I, I don't know, I don't play summoner. They're like a fake mage class. Fuck summoner. And yes, black mage might just be the worst class at low levels. But you have something that they don't. 
A giant hat. And a future. A destiny. A promise, if you will. A promise that you will become a god. A promise that you will become a being of pure <laughs> violence. Oh my, have I said too much. I mean, kinda. People keep telling me it gets better at level 50, and then at 60, and then at 70. When will it actually get f fun? Perhaps the most taxing thing about leveling a black mage is not the gameplay, but the constant reminders that 10 levels from now, it's gonna be so much better. And you know what? It does get better. Like a hangover gets better if you keep drinking. <laughs> now most jobs start out quite simple, get a bit more intricate as you level up, before at the high end becoming rather confusing. But Black Mage kinda neglects that middle bit. Which means you sorta go from, oh this is pish posh, this job is simply too easy, <sighs> to some random point in the future where your once unbridled confidence has now turned into. Huh? Which can put a lot of people off as they level up. But I think the very point of Black Mage is to welcome that challenge. And you'd do well to remember that on your journey. Face the challenge head on. Savor that feeling of ignorance, because you only get it once. I believe in you. Now go! And now you can finally enjoy the clash. Until you drift off to sleep at night, and in your hazy nightmare, you queue up for a level synced duty. <laughs> Ooh, look at all of your shiny new abilities. Now, now, before you can start using that, you have to know your basics. Enochian. This is the beating heart of your class. It's a 15 second buff that you have to constantly refresh. Because if the buff falls off, your most potent spells are disabled. You do 20% less damage. And, and I'm pretty sure you become infertile too. Y yeah, it's, uh, I think it's in the tooltips. Well, that doesn't sound so hard. Just refresh the buff. Huh, oh, well, you're right. The difficulty of Enochian comes with the unexpected. Oh no. You just started a three second cast with four seconds remaining on Enochian, and the boss is charging its ass clapper 9000 right at you. It would take 2.5 seconds to refresh Enochian, but do you have time to finish this cast before the boss kills you? Or do you just run now and waste all of your burst window? What do you do? Well, the answer should be to sacrifice your pride, take the DPS loss, and move out of the mechanic. Now we can refresh Enochian. And now for my second ass clap at 9,000. Oh no, we didn't plan for a second one. What do we do? Don't we just move again? But then Enochian will surely fall off, you imbecile. Don't you understand? All right, boys, little old pine. I fucking hate watching my own ads. Dude, if you, if you guys ever see any streamers being like, oh, I, I guess I'll watch the ad. They don't fucking have to, bro. I, 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 I hate watching the ads. <laughs> oh my god, it it feels it's such cringe to watch. Be like, oh yes, subscribe to my fucking Chungus Among Us, bro. B fucking pay for my buy buy this product that I was paid to fucking <laughs> to pr promote. The way with more than any other job. And that makes you better than them. And Bro, this sucks. Bro, I fucking can't watch this. This video sucks. <laughs> I fucking made this. <laughs> Dude, it's so embarrassing to me. I unironically, it's like cringe for me to watch this. That I, I bet I'm like the fucking only person here.
It's, it's fucking crazy. I could, like, the the script, I, it's just, I'm, I'm just better at scripting now. <laughs> <laughs> it is fine. All right, I'm gonna eat my sandwich. Cooldown of your class. It makes you cast faster. Of course, you have to play 15% faster, but also, if you step out of this funny little circle, then Leylines is no longer active. And I mean, sure, you can walk back in, but we know what happens to naughty little black mages who walk more than they have to, don't we? Truly the deadliest Mr. Beast challenge. Because only when it's perfect is when you have the knowledge of when you can sit in a circle for 30 seconds. And you do have to plan what you're gonna do. Your cast times are long. Your entire burst window can be shut down by just a poorly timed attack. It's a lot of pressure. The apex of perfection, down to every step you take. But with the biggest room for failure. And you will fail. It's the ever-present threat that claims black mage after black mage. And no matter how cracked you think you are because of your high pass or mythic boss kill, you will fail. But when everything comes together, it is ecstasy. And just like when you fail, when you succeed as black mage, you are just as responsible. And everyone around you knows it. This might be DMC actually, um, I, I actually think you're not allowed to use answers somehow. I think there's enough sound effects in this video to that where it's not copyrighted, but I'm still scared of the song. <laughs> He's doing it. His damage is so high. And every victory you earn is because of your skill. And your skill of the way. Why would you do that? You were gonna die. I was helping. No, no, no. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. You. My friend, meet the one part of the encounter you can never research or prepare for. Human error. From pulling you out of your ley lines because of mechanics. To placing down AoE effects on you. Or worse, inside your ley lines. <laughs> And even pulling mobs out of range, forcing you to move. If there's a black mage in your raid group, allow me to send this message on their behalf. Not that it's any of your business, but fuck you and fuck off. And leave me to my ley lines. Oh, the floor just cracked. I believe I might fall. Black mage. All right, I'm done. I'm done. This video sucks. Dislike. I'm not watching any more of this guy's videos. <laughs> When I dislike the video, it says feedback shared with the creator. Thanks. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> no, actually, I, I think it's, it's fucking five head to react to my own videos. Because, like, reacting's, like, lazy, right? But the problem with the reacting is it's like, oh, you're, like, stealing viewers or whatever from, like, oh, you're just watching that guy's videos. You know, but if I made the video... Then I'm just stealing from myself. And it's it, it, infinite content, my yeah. It's like a human centipede of, of content. I make it and then I react to it on stream and then I upload my reaction of my own video to YouTube. <laughs> Alright. Nah, I, I actually I I really struggle to watch my old my own videos. Cause I think part of it's cause whenever I make a video, by the end of it. I'm so much better at making videos than I was at the start of it because I, I've just learned how to make videos during like over the process of making the video right so by the by the end of it I'm like oh I would have done that differently so it's, I, I can't oh the, like the start of that video it sucks to watch because I'm like oh I, I would just do it so much differently now When am I going to comment on the content creator? Fuck that guy. Fuck the content creator. <laughs> it's my content now. Magnus. Oh, I thought this guy would be like silly. He's a frost god. That means he can't be silly. That's why I hate writing. Same deal. Yeah. I, honestly, my writing's the thing that needs the most work on, on YouTube. I think. 
All right, let's get back into the MSQ. I've had a break. I'm ready. Who are you supposed to be? Never seen the three of you in my life. Or the four of you? Wicked White, if you're gonna bother me, at least have the damn courtesy to stand still. Methinks this one is deep in his cups. Ah. Uh. These are my guests, Magnus. We ran into them at the mines. They're looking uh, for a way to reach Nabatharang, and so they came to ask about the trolley, you see. What? There's nothing in Nabatharang. Not anymore. And especially not for frail little girls. Give it up. Hey, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> no, we must reach Nabatharang. I must. Bah, so you have your heart set on it. The world doesn't care. The place is a ruin. Nothing more. And you're not getting there in the trolley. The thing doesn't run in hopes and dreams. Whoa. We're not fools. It's necessity that drives us to Nabatha Rang. If you insist that trolley is not an option, at least tell us why. No, I'm sick of people asking me about the blasted thing. Leave me be. <laughs> I feel like he's had like some loss in his past. Surely he's not just an asshole. It's also tough because your content isn't exactly structured in any kind of standard format, so each video will present its own challenges. True, but it's more similar, similar than you'd think. Alright. We'll speak outside. Magnus is a good example of how the first can change people's personalities. You think he used to be more optimistic when it when it worked? Oh, free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. What the hell? Where? What? Oh, it's it's Orion J. Thank thanks Orion J. <laughs> Dude, I thought he was real. <laughs> but he's not, is he? It's like a two sentence horror. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll learn it. Look at that. Brave New Orion J. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, Marcus. All right. Uh, he only said that because because he thinks I'm weak, weak, and he's right. But I can't be. I won't be forever. There has to be some way. I must find it. Oh my God. These are the Amber Hills. Wow, we got some tourists over here. You're on this course. Was... Oh, oh no, it's a it's a double homicide. They got the chick too. No, she has kids. <laughs> wait, wait. Is the gemstone trade is that is the gemstone trade a part of the MSQ? No, no. Orange, orange is the MSQ. That's right. I'm a bit confused here. Oh, wait. It's Mephilia. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, Mephilia. What's up? What's up, Mephilia? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was stuck in my own head again. It's clear that Magnus has no intention of helping us, but perhaps we could ask other residents. They may know something something of the trolley. I'll take the north side of the town and let, let you know if I learn anything. Thank Red. Art thou truly content to stand witness to fate's course and take no part? This isn't a matter of fate, Orion J. It's about choice. I've had years to decide where I stand. Benfilia has spent too long in chains already. I would not shackle her again by making my hopes known. It is for her to choose what what shape her destiny will take. It is for me to stay silent, to protect her, to teach her, and stand by her. That, at least, I can do for her. For her. Sounds like he's making a bit of pro progress. So be it. Come. Let us make our own in inquiries. I'm not going to lie to you, chat. This whole trolley thing kind of feels like filler so far. 
kind of feels like filler. <laughs> Not that I, not that I should be saying anything about stalling, but uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, there you are. You'll be pleased to know that I got our friend back from home with no trouble. He's just fine. He was just a bit shaken up, is all. And you? What did Magnus have to say? No way. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. This part has some great character moments, but good god, the trolley trouble segment is the slowest in the expansion. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I I can sense... In fact, that's kind of the exact take I was going to have, is that there's some good characters, but the whole trolley bit? Don't worry, bro. The, tro the trolley segment has a mega payoff. Okay, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Isn't Omega, like, bad, though? Isn't that, like, the last in the alphabet? I did not have the faint hope that uh, you might need to prompt him for action w um, where our interest is not, but I suppose that was foolish of me. I am sorry we couldn't be of help, though. Uh, I could at least show you the trolley car we have here, if you like. You could give it a stroke or two. It has some very smooth wood. Bro, what? What? Bro, can I me too Jerick over here? You mean to say you're not giving up, even knowing that Magnus is Magnus? Bro, what? I don't see much point in being stubborn about it. Though perhaps stubbornness is exactly what the situation calls for. Can't forge iron without an anvil, after all. I can't imagine that you will try you'll you I can't imagine that anything you try will work, but if you're certain, you can help me make preparations in the event that it does. To that end, take this toolbox. We're going off to inspect the rails. Cool, man. I'll have, <laughs> I'll have a look along the tracks to see if there's anything in need of repair. You bring the tools and be ready to hand them to me whenever I stop to work. It feels more like filler if you stall. That's my bit, though. I I can't stall. I, I None of this is stalling. I'm just this slow. <laughs> for real, for real. Oh, Aether Current. Okay, I'll take that. You know what, chat? I've seen, like, a couple screenshots of, like, you know, while, while we're on the Final Fantasy bad train for a second. It, <laughs> just for one second. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I've got a take, chat. I've seen, like, one screenshot. I've seen a couple screenshots of Razatan. That place looks fucking dumb, bro. It looks like a daycare center. What's, what's with all, like, the mismatching colors? It looks like someone just... Got like the right, like the rainbow filter and just put it on the whole city. What the fuck? <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Bro, what are you doing, man? Open the toolbox? Okay, alright. Say hey, that's not Indian. I mean, like it, it. It's like not the culture about it. I don't like. It's it's the color palette. They got like purple bricks and then also like yellow bricks. The, the, buildings aren't like that like anywhere in real life. I, I I guess that there would be, but like, I don't think I'd like the aesthetic of it in real life either. I thought the same, but it's less stupid when you get there. There you, there you go. I'll take that. The color palette is re relevant to that culture, isn't it? Like, isn't it like a like I? All right, do I have to reveal that I know more about Endwalker than I initially <laughs> expected to to reveal? It's, dude, it's not like I'm racist for not liking the color of a building. Dude. I, whoa, chat. That's not what I'm saying. That's, that's not how it is. Oh my god. Yeah, a toolbox. <laughs> it's not gray. He hates it. Guys, not that I'm biased or anything, but Ishgard, I like it. I just like the, uh, I like how it, it <laughs> looks the same as my, you know, my city. It's all gray. It's great. <laughs> yeah, no. 
Brilliant. Now, if you could answer, if you could answer me what I need as I work, that would be of help. Bad bit, bad bit. I, I, I. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm. By the way, job. I'm saying England, gray skies. That's my bit. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. All right. In this case, mm, well, this bolt is loose for one matter. We can't have that. I'll need to tighten it. <laughs> A mid-sized wrench. This dude, this quest has got me on some shit, man. You know what? I've come around to, to Hoshifan recently. I th I thought Hoshifan was like kind of a mid character for a long ass time. I thought people way overhyped him. But given DSU, and I went back and watched the cutscene again, I actually have changed my opinion. I think Hoshifant is like, he's okay. He's alright. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not like a huge Hoshifant guy, but I don't like, I'm not like actively disliking him or anything, you know? Now give me a moment and... There, I don't see any other problems here, so let's con continue along the track. <laughs> Pine, bring it back, we forgive your racism now. You know what, no, I'm not, I'm not done. Um, I think Lalafell is the best race. Yep. I said it. <laughs> Maybe if you didn't have a thousand people saying how amazing he was, you'd like him more naturally. That's probably true, but also, like, I, I actually think, like, the way I was playing the game in ARR and Heaven Sword, like, sucked. Like, I, I actually, like, I, just, I was just fucking playing the game wrong in Heaven Sword and ARR. Like, honestly. You know what? That is untrue. I think Famro the best race in the game. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take it back. Quite handy to have around, you know. Thanks, man. As to the lamp here, these aren't often necessary these days. But if we're going to do this, we might as well do it properly. And if it by some miracle night returns as it did in Lakeland, well, it's a nice thought. Anyhow, a bit of this post might seems to have been splintered. With a... The lamp needs to be lit or not. We wouldn't want these little pieces of wood jabbing the person who comes through here to do maintenance. We'll need to sand it down a bit. Are you... I feel like we... I feel like we probably could just fucking go there. Like, on foot. Like, surely we don't need to repair the whole, like, railway system for this. Right. No Ellas and Mommies in the pole? Oh, damn. They shafted the Ellisons again. Dude, Ellis are underrated, man. Best races, let's see. V <laughs> Fuck, I hate that I just said that sentence. <laughs> Vera, Rogan, and Makote. Makote, like, I don't know. Makote are okay. Rogan are, are very underrated. Mm. Fuck. I have water on my shirt. <laughs> you know what? I was talking to my friend yesterday. Hello. And I was talking to him about, like, um, I think it was Femro, maybe. It might have just been, like, any other race in Final Fantasy. <laughs> and he was like, bro, if you like tall women, just go to the Netherlands. And I thought, you know what? You know what? Maybe, maybe he's right. Maybe, like, I could just go to the Netherlands. But then I'd have to be in the ne Netherlands. Isn't isn't the Netherlands like canonically underwater, like like under sea level? That's crazy. <laughs> Facts I know about the Netherlands: they have Stroopwafel. That's fucking great. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta weigh up the pros and cons. A lot of floods. Stroopwafel. Huh? <laughs> 
Netherlands is okay if you ignore the fact that it Honestly, you know what? I I'm gonna be real with you, chat. From what I've heard, the problem with the Netherlands, the fucking problem with the Netherlands, is British people. It's fucking British people who go there and, like, just get, like, super drunk, smoke, like, a fuckload of weed in the streets in, like, the daytime and are super rowdy. Like, on God, if the, I guarantee there's at least one Dutch person in chat, and they will vouch for me, bro. Or at least that's what I've heard about Amsterdam. You know TwitchCon is in Amsterdam this year? I was gonna go, but I, I don't have my fucking, um... COVID shooty, shooty booties yet, so... So I can't... Not this year. Next year, though. Next year we're owning. Also, I, I did make another sandwich. I just felt weird about eating two sandwiches in a row. Weed is not legal in the UK, Ed, no. Sloppy. Actually, I've got quite a few um, Dutch friends. Dutch friends are like, either like really chill or like, yeah, all right, man. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was cool, man, yeah. <laughs> Happiness is illegal in the UK. That's accurate. That's true. That's true. I feel like everywhere in the world sucks. <laughs> like, everywhere. It's like actually a grass is greener moment. Like, a thousand percent. Not stalling five minutes on the same text box. I'll, I'll go at my fucking own pace, man. Look, I gotta pad out the paddy se sections, you know. <laughs> VOD watch just skipped next week. No. No, you know what, VOD watchers? Tell me if you like this. Tell me if you like me just hanging out, us talking, you know? I'm sure some of you just come for the MSQ, and that's fine. But I mean, I get to I get to enjoy myself. I get to talk to chat. We get to have fun. <laughs> because one day, this MSQ is going to be over. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be an old man with, with nothing but, but talks to talk. And I've got to make you guys like me before the MSQ is over. <laughs> no, 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 chat, 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 no, no, D don't skip, don't skip, please, please, You're, you guys, are gonna, I'm just gonna have to clickbait every sentence, you guys aren't gonna believe what I have to say next, oh man, man, I, I really got something to tell you guys, just st stay tuned and find out what I'm gonna say right now, <laughs> a wooden file, that's perfect, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's working. It's working. I should do it. Yeah, man. If you haven't spotted any of the problems, I guess you can move along now. <laughs> Mining's always been the fucking primary vocations for folks in the hills of Amber, you see. But after a certain point, they dug up everything that could be easily reached and carried back by manpower alone. Then there was the Nabath Empire, struck upon the idea of Talos, which they had seen at work abroad. At great expense, the Nabath brought the, the Mistel engineers who specialized in Talos here, to the hills. And wouldn't you know it, the mining industry picked right back up again. Pint gets too much character development, I wish other characters got more screen time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Twine itself sprung up around that time, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> it was named after the entwinning of the entwinning of tales, the fruitful cooperation between the native Ronso and the newly come Mistel. Do you guys think we'll get to the next dungeon today? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm I I know I haven't streamed in a while, but it, I've been tired. I'm tired. <laughs> yep. No. Ex I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like I was my high school teacher. I made excuses for like the first school year. And then by the second school year, I was like, "Yep, I was asleep. I'm tired. Sorry, teach." <laughs> and that, like so much else, fell apart in the wake of the flood. The Mistel left, taking their knowledge with them. That was 15 years ago. But the last of them, the folks of Dale, Dale Stonework, took off for Yulmore, and now no one remains that can repair 
uh, repair or operate the talus. But there is no use lamenting what can't be changed. There is one more thing we need to do while we're out here, so we might as well get to it. Vultures occasionally make their nest in the tracks, you see, and it falls to us to remove them well, when they do. The creatures are angry when disturbed, which is natural, but nevertheless a dangerous to anyone passing by. It's not my favorite task, to be honest with you. As you may have noticed, I'm not terribly suited to conf confrontation. That said, would you follow the tracks north and remove any nests you find for me? I'll keep an eye on things here. That's, like, mean. Should we do that? Will Pint make it to the end of the trolley today? Vote no. Vote no, chat. Do it. <laughs> Be safe. Vote no. Or vote yes and then guilt me into it somehow. Alright, I thought these nests would be like a bigger problem. Let's see. Oh, cool. They actually voted no. <laughs> Man, you guys are going to win big. Oh, wait. It is combat. Look at that. <laughs> No, I, I mean, I didn't even get to the end, end of Amarang in one day. What? What? Bro, it's an invisible wall? That's fucked up. Let me fall off stuff. Let me die. In game, in Minecraft. <laughs> there we go. Ah. <sighs> Jokes on you, the trolley doesn't end. Kinda like What where am I going? I'm going south. Can I not like just go there? This feels weird. It feels like I could just go there. This feels like a weird like hang up for the plot. You know, that is it's just me. Trolley to nowhere. Like, I feel like, <laughs> for real, man. It's like, what? It goes there? Like, a, it's a bridge? There's a mountain in the way? Okay, there's a mountain in the way. But there's also a track. So, could I not just walk on the track? Pint, are your channel points fucking called milkies? Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. Thank you, that should be everything taken care of. In return for your help, I'll tell you a bit more about the trolley. Thank- Oh yeah, thanks man. Nothing- nothing that can get it started again. Though, as I said, the only people who knew how to repair the Talos are long gone. When they left, life began to bleed out of the town. The trolley's tracks are rusted, and the cars fell into disrepair. Now, I was born in Twine. Raised there. My first word was trolley, Damn it! And those are the worst years of my life. But then, about seven years passed, Magnus and his wife returned to us. Magnus is a real proper trolley engineer, and perhaps he would never have left in the first place had it not been for his son. As you're well aware, Amarang is hardly the safest place if Magnus wanted his child to grow up away from its dangers. It didn't help in the end. The Sin Eaters got the boy. Isn't it always the same way? The child had always said that someday they wanted to see Magnus's trolley running again, so in his memory, they returned to Twine and started fixing those rusted rails and broken cars, and it was all going well for a time. What the fuck? Wicked white vultures? Are they back for revenge? Never mind, I don't want to find out. Alright. Oh, there was a pole. Wonderful. I feel like some of you guys are gonna lose a lot of a lot of pint gill. <clears throat> nice work out there. Thanks, man. Now you know the story of the trolley. Um <laughs> Now, you know the story of the trolley won't do you much good without the talus though. If there was even a single one that still functioned, things might be different. But well, here we are. This, this feels like such a weird plotline. Maybe I'm a hater, man. I don't know. 
Not that it'll do you any good, but we have a we have a talus we've been meaning to repair. I can show you if you'd like. It'd certainly be nice to hear something other than Magnus's grip for a change. Can't I canonically like go back to like the source as well? Maybe I could just like bring a trolley through. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna name my channel points Milkies and uh, man up and call them Milkies. I kind of want to call them Gil instead. Milkies is kind of like a dumb name. Uh, is it down, bro? I. Yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> we have to. We need you to have to take a train, but there's an entire backstory to it. Yeah. <laughs> Truly a most vexing state of affairs. I thought mayhap a closer examination might yield something of value. Sloppy. Trippy Trev with the Prime. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I see. This means to build Talos stone by stone are lost to us. Tis true. But here before us slums, slumbers a most fine specimen. Indeed. Were it not for a few minor failings, it would be in working condition. It will likely require naught but a few modest repairs and a suff suffusion of aether. Well, if you think you can get the thing up and running, far be it for me to stop you. What exactly do you reckon is the problem? I should stress that I have performed only only so the most cursory of examinations. Though such arcane constructs are not wholly unfamiliar to me. As I did suspect from the first, it is a host to a network of veins throughout which Aether floweth freely. Or so it would, if it were not for several fractures which now impede said flow. How in the hells did you get all that from a glance? I take it you've thought up a solution as well, then. To bridge these fine these fissures requireth a material highly conductive to Aether. Once in place, I believe it will be possible to restore the Talos to life. Might I prevail upon thee to require which we require? Not far beyond the walls of Twine dwelleth a creature of living stone. The the deb debitage debitage. <laughs> I'm fully sure. Fully sure am I that the stone from such a being would prove most suitable to our needs. <sighs> Very good. I shall save Thancred and Menphilia attend attend I shall have fucking that oh my god, bro, this, this quest line is not it today, man. I'm having flashbacks to my turtles in fucking Stormblood. I spied but three obstructions to the flow of Aether in Talos, and thus I would ask you to provide three stone stones. Alright, man, whatever. Alright, man. <sighs> Bro, if Preach was, like, vibing during these cutscenes, I could props to that, man. I I get so bored so fast. Right after it's over, it's great. It's worth it. <laughs> it's it's going to be like worth it when I can ride the train. No. <sighs> Take a deep breath, man. It's okay. It's okay. Emmett could fix the trolley. I bet he could. He could just snap his fingers. That's the thing though, chat. I don't want to take my time. I want to fucking go, go, go. I want to repair a train. It's a really good train. How good? I mean, how good can this train be? Like, let's be, let's be real. How, how good can this train possibly be? Can't be that good. Can it? <laughs> it's a pretty good train. All right. I don't know. It has a casino and a sausage sec section. Is it like the Omega train? Yo, Tales of Poppy. I think it's a tier one. That's a cool name.
Yeah, 10 levels from now to try and get so much better. That's right. We could take a- we could take the car. I fucking- I'm such a gross piece of shit. I'm talking my mouth open. You want a brand new car? Oh my god, thank you. We can- we can drive this along the tracks and get to our destination post haste. How would- how would one make the- this trolley section more interesting? Tancred and Benfile will return along with the remaining supplies we require. Didst thou succeed in procuring the stone from the Debitish? I sure did. I should talk with my mouth, mouth open? I should, you're right. Find specimens, one and all. You have my thanks. Now we need but wait for Tancred and Benfile's return. Wear a funny hat. That would make- that would make it funner, you're right. They should have made, like, the- the Talos and the, like, hot woman. Guaranteed, more people will be into that. From end to end, and also make the train a hot woman. <laughs> make all the engineers hot women. Um, from end to end, the paths which the Aether may flow through the Talos have been duly mended. But they require sufficient endowment. See chat, think of what we could have. It's not moving. Oh, Thancred found the plot. All right, strange. <laughs> the, core, the core refuses to stir. I fear the condition of this talus is more dire than I previously surmised. As hot, <laughs> yeah, cool, yeah. As a heart drives blood through a man's veins, so does the core aether through this massive frame. So we needed to get a heart for it. So it was the heart after all. Thou didst foresee this outcome? Well, no, not exactly. We'd never gotten this far in trying to repair it, so we had no way of knowing if the heart was the problem. We tried to find the another. We tried to find another in case things turned out. Eric, this isn't really my story to share. Please. Derek, if anything went wrong, we need to help. The trolley out picks up an Endwalker. All right. Yeah, no, I this this game's not bad. There's there's no <laughs> there's no bad parts of this game. It it picks up later. Trust. Me. <laughs> That's you know I actually don't like that take because that implies I do think this game's bad, and it isn't. I think this game's perfect. Oh no, we're gonna have to build a factory and mine ore to fix the trolley. Bro, 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 bro. You know what? This feels like the fucking crystals from ARR. Where it's like, oh, get the corrupted crystal. Oh. Just kidding, you need another one. Oh, just kidding, you need another one. It's like, oh, just go, just go kill those guys, man. Oh, just kidding, we need to get the heart. Honestly, when Thancred turned out to be the trolley the whole time, I was blown away. Is that true? You know, I think I've seen, like, images of that on the Reddit, so I think that might be true. I think Thancred's actually the trolley. <laughs> right then, the Talos. Their hearts cannot be made of just any stuff. You know what? You know what? If if we like if we get the trolley and then they destroy the trolley like almost immediately by like some bad guy showing up and then we have to just run along the railroad tracks, that would be fucking hilarious. Like I would have so much respect for this game if that's what they do. Oh my god. Holy shit, that would make- that would make this game for me. Right then, the Talos and their hearts cannot be made of just any stone. That place, of course, being here, the Hills of Amber. And it was three years ago when she- she- No, I can't. I'm sorry, you'll have to hear it from Taff or someone else. Ah, <sighs> back to the tavern then. That's right, Dangred. Back to the tavern again. 
Did I did I unlock the faith right? No. Oh my god. If the trolley must be unridden, let it be unridden. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys if you guys want to if you guys want to see the um the image I saw where Thancred turns into the trolley, just Google Thancred getting railed, and that's um that'll <laughs> that'll that shows the image that I saw. Uh, still here, eh? You can ask again, but the answer is the same. Our trolleys are what? God damn it, Jarek! You could have at least finished, so I wouldn't have to clean up your mess. Seeing how you made such quick progress in fixing that talus and all. He was probably thinking you could help change things around here. And I think you might be right. Gather your friends and I'll tell you what you want to know. <laughs> Thank fucking God! Oh my was. God! That's the first fucking voiced cutscene in like two hours. Holy shit, bro! That was rough. Holy fucking shit! Oh my sandwich! <laughs> yeah, his my wife is a miner. Cool. When the golem heart started failing, she was the first to head out in search of more. Problem was. Most of the veins ran dry ages ago. And finding fresh ones, the tap's only gotten harder. <laughs> His wife's a what? But she wasn't one to be deterred. She just kept digging deeper and deeper. And then the mine collapsed. We labored day and night to clear away the rubble. But it took us two months to find her. to find her body. Two months is not Magnus a good time. Been the same since. There's not a good time for a body to be in any place and then be found. Can't wait for him to hear the trolley's voice actor. True, man. Same voice actor as your stole. Where right? is he? If you don't mind my asking. Ah, yes. Well, if he's not here, there's only one other place he'd be. Why is this song so nostalgic? Where's this from? I've heard this. This isn't the this isn't the old Da song, is it? Or is it like Wait, this is this is this is like the Thanalan song. Right? Pull up. Hmm. Hmm. That might be a bit of music theory there. I mean the ending of it specifically. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. Thancred's foot feet are voice acted. What? Oh you again. How many times must I tell you? The trolley won't run! We'd be better off dismantling the damn thing and selling the parts for scrap. Mm -hmm. Now piss off back to wherever you came from. Don't let me catch you around here again. Oh, it's the grave. My son was named Scully. My wife, Agna. Yo, is Thancred finally gonna be like find a way to move on by meeting another character who's experienced loss and death? Hmm. 
Being here with them, it beats going home. Home stopped being home when I lost them. I thought to try and drown my sorrows, but somehow mm -hmm. the bottle's never deep enough. No, you shouldn't have bottled that man. No bottle is. Believe me, I know. Mm. Thank Thancred's alcoholic arc canonically. <laughs> You've lost someone too. I'm sober two months, actually. <laughs> Not like you. Not my own flesh and blood. I grew up an orphan, so I never really knew what family meant. Not until I met a man who offered to take me in and make me his pupil. He was a kindly soul, always looking out for me, like a father. Not that I appreciated that at the time, or anything else for that matter. But I finally had a family, and then, and then I robbed the young girl of hers. Mm. I did my best to make amends, to offer her comfort. But the more I look back on it, the more I realize just how inadequate my efforts were. One point of callback? Yeah, yeah, I know. That is why I refuse to let her legacy die. In the end, all we can do is press on for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. He said the fucking thing. And that requires your Talos. Please, Magnus. You are our only hope of reaching Nabath Arain. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like... Okay. Like... I know I thank her at saying that, but I don't think that's actually why he wants Minfilia back. I think he wants Minfilia back for his own self. His own he wants Minfilia back for him. It's it's like personal. Cause if all he was concerned about was Minfilia's legacy, it's like a pretty cool legacy that Minfilia like gives her power unto unto baby Minfilia and and has already saved the first, you know. Like, legacy completed. He wants, he just wants Mephili back. And he, even now, he just fucking won't admit that. He won't say it, to, he doesn't want to admit it to himself. I think it can be both somehow. I, I don't think he's like lying. I don't think he's like, I'm not telling the truth. But I don't think he fully comprehends that, that he, yeah, I think he's on copium. I don't think he realizes that he's making that excuse just because he wants Mephili back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get on. He's calling him out. She's not gone. No matter what you say or believe, she's not. We can still bring her back. No. No, I won't allow it. <laughs> what? 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 Did you guys see that? <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank right hit the ye, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, it's La Habrea. It must be him. <laughs> uh, full well do I know that the pain of loss can be heavily 
and how heavily it can weigh on one's heart. Nevertheless, it is but one way forward. We need to procure a new heart for the t That's right. That's right. Tell us. Taff, knowest thou of any location where, where we might find the stone we require? No matter how scant the possibility, we would seize it. I told you near all the veins were tapped dry years ago. Though I suppose if you really wanted to try, you might find something at Norvi's leavings. It was opened well before the talus came commonplace, which is why the mining there was never quite as deep. When you get there, look for Goth John and tell him <laughs> to tell him I sent you. But don't be surprised if he tells you the same thing. Thine assistance is most appreciated. Pint, I think it is best that Thancred join thee in this search. Though he would st Whoa. Oh, that's a clip. <laughs> I just saw, like my chat move really quick. It's a, it's a, it's a link. Though he would uh, be quick to deny it, his heart is in turmoil, and his thoughts clouded. It would be unwise to ignore his distress. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Old Minfilia's not coming back, bro. She ain't coming back. She's gone. She's fucking gone, bro. Baby Minfilia? She's, she's my best friend. Oh, hey. Hey. Fucking Elden Ring edge edge lord moment. Am I right, fellas? Am I right? Off to somewhere, are you? Yeah. <laughs> At last, a lead on a stone we need to power tell us. I can't very well have you go on your own. Lead the way. Yeah, man. Uh, I'd say we're long overdue for a good turn. I hope the gods feel the same way. Now, Nubi's leaving was to the south, was it? Let's get going. You know what? I I don't think this would be that bad if I if it's like off stream. I think this is like particularly like I think this is noticeably slower because I'm on stream, and I have to like read it all out. You can't just like kind of skim. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a, it's a bit of a different um different experience. You feel me? <laughs> it's not great off stream, sure, but I, I feel like it's it's easier to just be like, okay, I'm you know, I can I can tone my attention back by like a certain percentage. <laughs> Suffer streamer? Oh, I'm I'm suffering. Don't you worry. The way you described it, I was expecting it for the place to be abandoned. Perhaps our fortunes really are improving. Though we should hear what Goose Goose John has to say before we celebrate. Assuming we can find him, that is. You got a trolling mat after this? I hope so. Old? Roleplay? What a minor inconvenience this is to be. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. Thank God. My, my FC is being funny for me. Let me uh, let me take a bit of a, a break <laughs> from the funny being. <laughs> I wish Ranjit were here. I do too. This place would be so much cooler with Renji. You know what, bro? Part of me's been craving WoW a little tiny bit. Tiny little bit. But only the leveling. As soon as you get to max level in WoW, I'm fucking out. I don't fucking care. But leveling in WoW? Oh. That's the good shit, man. Fuck, fuck like WoW rating. But I'm, I'm, I kind of like the leveling. Kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say wow, wow bad though. Wow bad. You know, like. <laughs> Thing is, I like I like wow's leveling, but wow doesn't like wow's leveling. Like they they never do anything to the leveling. They only do stuff to the end game. I've been doing Eureka. Maybe that's why I say that. Like, I, I've been playing Eureka, and therefore, it's like making me Stockholm Syndrome and, like, miss WoW. Uh, who are you? What are you doing in here? We're looking for a trolley. Well, you shouldn't li should listen, listen to Thaf. You're wasting your time. But this site is not de as developed as the others, is it not? Surely there must be something left. I should explain. The stone you're looking for is Leo 9. 
Leonine. All of the Talos in the Hills of Amber are powered using them. Or were, at least. Anyways, whatever's left, if anything, is far below, far too below to be safely excavated. In the deepest reaches of the mine, we used to use Talos to keep the pathways from collapsing. They're still there, but they can give out at any time. Which is why the mine is closed off. Then our only option is to search for the higher levels for any fragments of Leonine that may be overlooked. Hmm, I suppose there may be one other way. Well, don't leave us in suspense. <laughs> Sad MSQ is making fight as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we don't find this trolley soon. I might have to, I might have to dragon flight, you know. <laughs> Agree with the mod, try to the well sometime. I don't know, probably not. I, I, maybe I'll play like Wrath Classic, who knows? Who fucking knows, man? <laughs> I kind of want to do content where I just get a bunch of FF players to play WoW, and then I can be like, I made 10 FF players play WoW, and here's what happened. What you're asking for is a trade secret. I'll need to be duly compensated in exchange. <sighs> Fine, what do you want? The other day, oh my fucking god. Okay. So here's what we here's what's going on, chat. So, we need to get to Light Warden. So to get to the Light Warden, we have to avoid Yulmorian soldiers. Okay? So we have to we have to go down the different route. And so, to, so we have to go other way. Cool, we have to go the other way. Okay, and to go the other way, uh, we we need to take a train for some reason, which hasn't really been like you know that thoroughly explained. But we would need to take a train. Okay, then uh, but to do the train, we have to repair the train. We have to repair the train. Um, but to repair the train, we need to we need to fucking repair Gollum. We need to repair the Gollum. And to repair the golem, we need the heart. And to repair the heart, we need to get this fucking guy... ...something. <laughs> this is... I'm... <laughs> what the hell, man? You need the golem to open the door. Right, so you need the golem. You need to repair the golem. To, to open the door, you're right, okay. So the train's fine, the trolley's fine, but we need to open the door. Throw wide the gates, as they do say. <sighs> the trolley part is actually one of my favorite parts. I'm trying to keep an open mind, man, but like, it feels like we're actually just take like, like, every single quest, it feels like I'm progressing backwards instead of forwards. Like, it started out, and I was like, okay, get to the Light Warden. And then it's like, okay, uh, actually, if, okay, actually go the other way. Actually, we need to take the train. Actually, we need to open the door to take the train. Actually, we need to prepare the golem. Actually, we need to get this guy something. And I haven't done any of these yet. <laughs> You know? <laughs> it's just like what's gonna be next, man? What's gonna be, what's gonna <laughs> what's gonna be fucking next? <laughs> Alright. I'll I'll be ready. I'll be ready to add more. <laughs> the other day I found Vobert gold pieces down in the mine. A bloody Vobert gold piece, wouldn't you know it? I dropped the damn thing somewhere while I was working. Find it and I'll tell you what you want to know. You drive a hard bargain, sir, but we'll take it. That we will. It seems we have our work cut out for us, Pint. Thankfully, I have an idea for how we might hurry things along. Oh my god. Thankred's got an idea, boys. It's a WoW token. He found the WoW token on the mine. As I'm sure you've noticed, despite their best efforts to illuminate the corridors, it is rather dark in here, meaning that it's much harder to find a single coin hiding in the shadows. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you should. It's pretty bright. That's why I propose we use these sun drops to help help the eye take in more light. Why don't start? Why don't you start your search further in, and I'll handle this area. All right, man. It's fucking all right, man. All right, Thankred. Whatever, man. I'm telling preacher a non-believer. 
Look, 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 look. I, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a trolley guy. Maybe I'd be a trolley guy if I could get to the trolley. Maybe, maybe if I had access to the trolley, then I, then I'd enjoy the trolley. But the way I see it right now, there's no trolley to even, even praise. There's no trolley to praise. There's no trolley to praise. Mm-hmm. Why is your stream G shade red, but your YouTube videos are not red? It it just like it enhances reds. It's 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 not super super duper red. It kind of makes yellows into reds, but I don't really like care enough about it to change it. Wait, was that it? That might have been it. I thought that's where I started. The point of the Shatterbringers MSQ is not that you're just you're fighting the Light Wardens, but you're also helping rebuild a broken world. The trolley thing is kind of tedious, but the work of rebuilding um, can be like that sometimes. It should have just been part of the MSQ. Should have. It should have been part of the MSQ. Uh, maybe not, but it makes sense to me. I I kind of like that take actually. Um, I think it could have been done with less of a um, less of like a oh let's let's hinder you from 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 the goal we set up. Like I it. You can do the the whole like restoration and stuff, it like simultaneously and somehow better. Like I I think um, I think actually the Doma arc did that like very well, because there was like the people you had to free, but they didn't want to be freed because they were like still being oppressed. Maybe like maybe the people here are like hopeless or something until you repair. I don't know. I don't know how I do it, but I I, I like that. That's that's a good take. I'm, I'm gonna think about that more throughout the process of this. Where you're at, Nawu? Uh, we we basically got past Garuda. We we we're like at like one percent on Garuda. We'll kill Garuda this week for sure, and then Ifrit perhaps. <laughs> I think most people agree that this part's a bit padded, though. I think it could have been done with not going here. I think if it went from like repair golem and like maybe that's as far as it went and then you know the golem was repaired and then you could open the door and then maybe there was some extra plot Sloppy. or or may maybe instead of this guy it focuses more on like actually like restoring it a bit more yo double thank you <laughs> gifting group like a sub man you a homie yeah m maybe if instead of getting like this guy is fucking coin we like do something like re real good, you know, something real nice for the people, you know. Maybe maybe we go down into the mine and find something from that guy's like dead wife and like get like a, a her necklace or something. I don't know, you know, so, uh, something like that. <laughs> Instead of just like some guy's coin, <laughs> trolley pair will be great. Thank you. I, I I I fucking hope the trolley spawns and then dies. That's right. I'm a trolley non-believer. That's right, chat. <laughs> I I hate the trolley. Yeah, I said it. Fuck the trolley. I'm I'm an anti-trollier. Rise up with me. Who else? Who else hates the trolley? That's right. No trolley for pint. <laughs> it's not happening. I'll walk. <laughs> Fuck the trolley. Say it with me. We have we have two factions now. I'm gonna make an emote emote of me fucking thumbs downing the trolley. It's gonna be me like this, and then the trolley like below me. Oh, I'm gonna be angry. <laughs> We have devil horns instead of instead of the halo the preach has. <laughs> All right, stop, Emmett. Can you can you stop? Pl thank you, thank you. All right, or maybe she is yours at least. In the end, my contribution was a little more than company. Well, I couldn't have done it without your sun drops. Come now, Thancred. You are far more prepared for this task than I. No more than usual, I assure you. I only managed to survive the Corthian Wilderness and the Imperial Capital, capital by virtue of uh, extensive preparation, a habit of mine since childhood. 
and one of my few positive traits which in, in few positive traits which endeared me to Louis Soir, I imagine. It hasn't been easy finding ways to compensate for my condition. Every tool and trinket has proven vital to continue continue success, such as it is. So true, bestie, so true. Yo, Peter Kurt, thank you the prime man. I appreciate it. Sounds like Pine should ally with Noble. No, 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 no. Noble, sorry. No, dude, I, I'm a big fan of Noble since the WoW days. But I've heard Noble has been disliking my characters. So, um, I'm happy to announce the next uh, creator boxing event. It's going to be me versus Noble. Because he doesn't like Ardbert. And I do like Ardbert. Yep, that's our, that's our beef. Had I chosen to pursue the ancient, the arcane arts rather than espion, espionage, well, I'd rather not think about it. So long as I have the means to protect those dear to me and see my duties through, that's all that matters. Now, let's hurry and see that... Let's hurry and see that return to, to Gertha John. Sooner or fucking we get back to Iron Jame, I feel you the better. Hey, here's your goddamn coin. You're back, what does that mean? It means I'm switching to White Mage with XP, baby. You're back, what does that mean? It means I have the coin. Greedy piece of shit. I'll be damned, you actually found it. Well, a deal's a deal, but I don't... <laughs> you know what, chat? Guess what? We get this guy something, and then he tells us where it is. It's funny. See, we don't actually have the thing yet. We gotta tell... He'll tell us where the heart is. Sorry, I. you know what? I'm kind of making a reach with that one. I don't know if I'm right with that. Yeah, I just figured maybe he could, like, give me the stone. Maybe not. Fuck this guy, bro. Wait, Carl Pink? Oh, these are actually pretty cool. Hmm. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I could pull it off. But you did, and I'm mad at my word. Come with me. Better be the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, you get dies for this one. That means it's the last one, maybe? Maybe. Noble seems not to have a sympathy bone in him. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 um, I think, I think pretty much everyone's had, like, pretty good receptions with the MSQ, though. Hold on. Roleplay bit. I see. Yeah. Behold. <laughs> Cat girls. Ah. <sighs> Ah, my God, Jesus Christ! The fucking flashbang moment. I guess I do have my like bright shader still on. <sighs> Every time I step out of those mines, the sky seems to get brighter. I'm <laughs> Yo, it's immersive. I'd never leave them if the air weren't so stale. But you're not coming to hear my grievances. You're after Leonine. First, I have to ask: Have you ever heard of rockworms? Rockworms, I know them by another name, but I'm certain... Ugh, this is gonna be another fucking thing, isn't it? This is gonna be another thing. I'm fairly certain the locals call them knockers. Yeah, there's, there's a good pair of knockers near me, I think. Aye, that they do. Whatever you want to call them, those little bastards may not be the... May be the answer to your troubles. They can fit through cracks and crevices down where we could never hope to reach. And on occasion, they come back with something valuable. They dig up Leonine in the mines? A rare occurrence, but yes. That said, it usually amounts no more than a few flakes. And our only option sounds tantamount, tantamount to suicide. So how can we draw out these rock worms? Over by that shack, you'll find a, a bag full of smoke bombs. Set it off in the mines and you'll flush them out in no time. 
Once they're out in the open, knock them senseless and check their backs. What the hell? Aren't these like good guys? I should warn you, this method of mining, if you can even call it that, is used as a last resort on account of what little they like to bring back. Uh, you'll want to cover as much ground as you can in hopes of finding something of value. Assuming you find something, bring back your own. Let's take a look. All right, man. All right, man. Well, let's let's get these knockers. Let's split up. Yeah, thank you. Good idea, man. So what? What's even like out there? What even is? What even is that? What's outside the walls? Is it just pure white void? Surely not. Oh my god. I got an itchy nose. Wait, wait, what'd you say? I try to follow his gameplay in 14, but somehow I have more of a feeling he's joking around and making anime-esque memes most of the time. Not sure if, he, if he's even paying attention to the lore. Just my impression. Uh, that somewhat put me off his stream. Wait, who's this? Who's that about? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait. Dude, that was talking about something. Maybe, th maybe that's Noble. That's an old, old comment. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Nala gets more little things than most of the streamers I see, especially when I saw Endwalker. To be fair, like, I, I, I'm very careful when I criticize streamers, because, um, it's like, I fuck, you know, I, I fucking obviously get it more than, more than you guys do. I get, I get it. I know what it's like. Um, <laughs> so therefore I, I try and, I try and be like, easy on them. I, th I think it's really fucking hard to, um, like, MSQ and stream at the same time as well. It's so fucking hard. Because you can like something, but maybe it's just, like, the way you naturally react to stuff isn't, like, what chat likes. <laughs> and you kind of got to be able to, like, hold your own if you, like, don't like a character or a, an Endwalker city. Or, or, like, know when to drop it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to see what each streamer drives and doesn't really drive with drive with i i agree i i wish i liked every inch of this game but it you know occasionally we have we have trolley problems and we have um wait a minute what okay like five head prediction there's definitely going to be like a trolley pro problem reference in the MSQ here. There's there's going to be like, there's going to be like we have to sacrifice someone to save. To say it's a reference to the trolley problem. There's going to be some kind of sacrifice that that must be quote unquote made, and I think Menphilia is the subject. Mhm, 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 mhm. Yep, 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 yep. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Old Menphilia is going to be sacrificed. That's the trolley problem, baby. The one is going to die for the many. Pint, wait, you don't squeal in delight with the overjoyed voice at every positive event? Dude, I... that Like, that that's something right there. I try and keep my reacts, like, normal. At least. I, like... At, at very worst, I'll, like... I'll ham up what I'm already feeling inside, but I won't try and act more reacty. Than, than I am inside. Oh, was I not supposed to... I was supposed to get the rubble after? Okay, okay. Seven. That's so many. I don't want to... I don't want to do that. That's, that's too many, chat. <laughs> React hot. Dude, I, I... At this point, I'm mostly concerned with liking the MSQ the most. It's not even about how I react. If I can just fall in love with the MSQ, then I'm happy. <laughs> it does kind of pad the quest line, doesn't it? We couldn't just have it drop from one fucking mob, could we? Oh, hey, fellas. How you doing? <laughs> this is an indoor no-fly zone. Alright, let's go.
get the rubble. This one cave is the worst part of the expansion. You know what? I fucking believe it. You know what? Maybe that's the best part about like reacting properly to. Because if I tried to fake love everything in this game, then I would, um, I would like probably. What? Okay. <laughs> I, I would be like, man, this cave is really cool. Man, this cave so, so cool. Wow, he misplayed that job. And look, yo, what's he thinking? He can do better. Oh, look, it's like, guys, it's like a metaphor for streaming. That's so, that's, they're owning. Look at this. They're judging me and watching my every move. All right, you want to, you want to see how a gamer games? Yeah, that's right. He's taking angels. The knock is really small. No, chat, please. <laughs> they don't mean it. They don't mean it. <laughs> you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, and... <laughs> whoa, you can't say the P word. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's totally okay to not like this part. It just drags on a bit. Things get better. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's like how I really enjoyed Stormblood. Um, I like Stormblood. I think you know, Shadowbringers excluded. I think Stormblood's my favorite expansion, and uh, Stormblood ha had its fucking slow parts. It truly, truly did. <laughs> you like that chat? You didn't even get to see that one. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> that's, that's a good bit. I don't care about Alamigo sign of Stormblood at all. I honestly don't either. Um, no, no, no. I don't. I don't really care about the Alamigo side of Stormblood either. But, um, the, um, but um, um. I like Yotsu, so thank you, thank you, thank you, chat for listening. <laughs> man, Shadowbringer is great, man. <laughs> Azim Step was great. Yanshu was okay. Yeah, Post MSQ was great. You know what though? I think that's like what people really fucking care about in this game. They should just make this whole game post MSQ stuff. Part of me wonders why they even add stuff like this. Like, do they? Do they really like, do they really like, are they like consciously trying to pad out the expansion or, or are they honestly considering this to be like equal to the other shit they've done? You know what? I, I actually kind of like the cave. I kind of wish I got like more excuse to use my abilities. Right now, I think you're past the bad part. Good, good, good. There you are. Find anything promising. You know what's funny, dude? I told my I told my FC, these fellows right here, I was like, you know what, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like today is gonna be a bit dead. I, I just have that like sense in my brain that the MSQ is gonna be a bit mid coming up. And I Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, now this can work. <laughs> We have eggplants. You know what? Maybe this zone's not so bad. Yo, Soul kind of thing with that thing. We give it its own. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh shit! I accidentally skipped all of his dialogue. Fuck. Damn. That was <laughs> that was actually an accident. But I'm not going back. <laughs> You may not remember this about Arminfilia. But prior to founding the Path of the Twelve, long before the Scions, she was something of a miner. Yeah. Yes. She, uh, she, you met her when she was like a child. After her father died, Flamine took her in and taught her the trade. I think they were both seeking to fill the void left by a loved one. Maybe that's why she took to it so readily.
Back in those days, I spent most of my time in the quicksand, or some other tavern, loosening tongues and gathering secrets. Occasionally, I'd catch a glimpse of her in the street, on her way home after another hard day's work. Ah. I always felt a wave of relief when I saw she'd come back safe. Along with a pang of guilt at the fact I wasn't there to support her as I should have been. Simply speaking with her more than once in a blue moon would have been a good start. But I could never bring myself to do it. Instead, I threw myself into my work and became every drunkard's best friend. That's me. That's like what I do with my daughter. I've... Bit of, bit of pint law. Um, so I've got a daughter. She's 12 years old. Um, and I never talk to her because I'm streaming all the time. I can't imagine she thought too highly of you back then. <laughs> Not too highly, no. Yeah, I'm actually 45 years old. Sodden wharf rat, which wouldn't have been half as galling had it not been so accurate. <laughs> but that was a lifetime ago. Here and now, I have another chance to do things right, and I will not squander it again. What are you thinking, then, man? What are you thinking? Hey. Come and see what I found. You're not going to believe this. Oh my god, did he find the trolley? <laughs> no, no, no I'm... Nine. How, do, how the fuck do you have a 12-year-old? I thought you were like 20. I'm actually 21, so that's where you're wrong. I'm not 20. <laughs> it is at that. You lot were born lucky. It's mostly broken pieces. But look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's a big piece. This is a rather fine specimen. <laughs> it's been decades since we found anything approaching this big. But that's not all. There's an engraving on it. Oh? It's ah, just a cock and bull. Here. They're a little hard to make out. To my beloved Magnus and Schooley. Aw, what? That's almost too yes. lucky. Do you see? It was a gift to Magnus from his wife. What the she fuck? She found it. She really found it. She must have spent her final hours carving this message into the stone in the hope that he might see it one day. Damn, okay. Those like rock-backed bastards must have made off with it before we could clear a path to her. Damn. It's fate that brought you here to find this stone. No other explanation. It makes me wonder what else might still be buried in these parts. Oh, I hope I hope once this world is saved we can figure that shit all out. I saved the rock. Wow. I'm nearly halfway. <laughs> well, chat. <sighs> Bang. Bang. Oh, progress. Finally. <laughs> Do we take coral pink? I'll take some coral pink. I'll, I'll take that. This made me dislike it more because the plot just pulls solution out of its ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. But whatever, right? Fuck it. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's, that's great. Look at us. Well, let's go repair that golem. Right, guys? Right. Wait, what? 77? Bro, am I like done with Shadowbringers? What's happening? Like that's like what? What? No, no, no. This expansion's way longer than this. There's no fucking way. There's three more levels. No way, bro. No fucking way. There's got to be like like in my head I started Shadowbringers like a week ago. There's no way I'm like 75% done with it. I'm five minutes from being done. Wait, this is actually the ending. Uh, I wouldn't believe it had I not missed it myself. 
Dropbox, should I slow down more? Should I stall more? Do I need to stall it longer? I can, I can go slower if you want. I wouldn't believe it had I not seen it for myself. Uh, before you set in the towers, so you take it to Magnus? For three long years, he's believed she died for nothing. He must know the truth that her sacrifice was not in vain. We'll take it straight to him. You have my word. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's... <laughs> right then, let's not keep everyone waiting. Maybe the post patches are just like really cool. No, 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 no. This day, see, 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 here's, here's the thing. We haven't met Hydlin yet. We haven't met Rain and Gaia yet. We haven't met fucking Amarot yet. We haven't fucking met fucking... There's like an Asian called like Hydropolis or something, whatever his fucking name is. His name's like an Among Us map. Uh, there's a bunch of Asians all in like their pajamas with bird masks. Like, when we're fucking nowhere near done. There's so much left left undiscovered. Stop. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Hydraulics. That's it. That's the guy. I like pretending I know so much more than I do. I say some vague shit that I kind of think I might know with a hundred percent confidence, and everyone's like, huh, 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 "How? How? <laughs> How do you know that?" <laughs> I throw shit at the wall. That's what I do. Hydlin was a myth invented by liberal media to eat up his. Is that? Yeah. No, I could see that. Renora Odd. I think it was a tier one, man. You know, you know what? I will say this, dude, because I, I, this is like last stream. Now that we've, now that we've all had some time to reflect and all, I want to ask the question again. When Emmett Selch was like, "Yo, yo, fellas, Hydalin is the oldest and most powerful primal," were you like, <gasps> "What?" Or were you like? Yeah, yeah, I've kind of been thinking that. I've, I've thought that before. That makes sense. Because I'm not going to lie. I wasn't surprised at all. <laughs> so yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Isn't the early trailer we had to stew in it? They spoiled it in the trailer. But that's what I mean, though. Like, when you saw the trailer, did you, did you think... Were you like, oh yeah, no, that makes sense. As soon as I learned about tempering, I was like, hmm? Yeah, dude. As soon as I like kind of understood what a primal was, I was like, okay, so Hydaelyn's a primal, right? And then I learned like that it, she like... Like I, th I just assumed she was one. And then they like didn't specify that she was or wasn't one. So I was like, oh, so it's like a secret that she's a primal, maybe. <laughs> You know what though? I don't think that's I don't think that cutscene is trying to like shock you or anything. I think it's trying to just like set up like a status quo. It sets up a lot of backstory with Zodiac and Hydlin. And in doing that, they just sort of confirm the primal thing. Yeah. Alright, trolley moment. Alright. <clears throat> oh, it's you. It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy getting the stone. If you've come to complain about the trolley, you'll find no sympathy with me. I told you before it won't run, and you wouldn't listen. Oh, but it will, now that we have this. Your name is engraved on it, along with your son's. It was a gift from your wife, Magnus, from Agna. No. No, she couldn't have. Agna. Boy, take it. <laughs> Do with it what you will. Are you certain? It would delay our plans, but... I said take it. It was you who found it. You who needs it. Looking at that stone, all I can see is, is. Please, 
Just leave me be. I hope you'll be there when Talos stirs to life. I'm sure you'd, she'd want you to see it. <laughs> Would you do the honors of delivering this to Orion J? Dude, I like quoting like GLaDOS because it's like a niche game now in 2022. And I feel like no one, like like two people in the whole stream will get it. But those two people will get it. Oh. Are you sure, Magnus, that we can still make Pint do three or four more filler quests? I mean, yeah, he ain't gonna stop. <laughs> He'll do fucking anything we ask. Uh, <laughs> do the honors of delivering this to Orion J. Yeah, thank Red. I'll do your chores. No worry, man. Is Portal a niche game now? You know what, man? I kind of want to do a poll. Mods, can we get a poll for who has played Portal 2? No, just any Portal game. Any any Portal game or hasn't played any Portal game. I, I, I'm I assuming, like... Let's see. I think, like, the majority of people haven't played a Portal game. I don't know, though. Final Fantasy is, like, kind of, kind of boomer. You guys are kind of, like... I kind of wonder what, like, the average age of you guys is. Hold up. I, hold up. Can I, like, check my Twitch stats? I want to... Hold up. Hold up. How old are you guys? How old are you people? Does it, like, tell me? Channel analytics? Oh, my God. I get I got a lot of money. And, and viewers. I'm really cool. 16% <laughs> of you guys come from Asmongold. Wow. That's cool data. Does it? Ha I don't think it has your guys' age. Wow, like 35% of you watch novel. <laughs> More of you guys should watch Preach. Only 23% of you watch Preach. Preach is a great channel. You guys watch Preach. Oh, you guys are saying your ages. I was looking at... <laughs> wow, 30, 26. You know what? I feel like 26 is like the, the age that everyone is now. Fucking everyone is 26. Even like 40-year-olds are like 26 to me. 33? Oh my god, that's actually crazy. I <laughs> Am I the youngest one here? <laughs> okay, 19. There we go. <laughs> I appreciate it. Have you played Portal? You know what? I, di I didn't think my like age range would look like that, but sin since it does, then, then yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. If you guys were like younger than me, no way. I don't think I've met someone younger than me that has played Portal. I Actually, I know one guy. He's like fucking the same age as me though. He's just like a couple months younger. My son turns 21 the end of July. I th when I watch you, I think of him. Oh my God. Oh my God. That, that's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> I got to have pressure. Yeah, man. I love studying. I, I don't do any drugs. I'm, I'm a straight A student. Yeah. Total virgin. I'm... I'm gonna be employed, billionaire by the time I'm 35. Love my parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Art <laughs> thou returned with Leonine, it would seem. Yeah. As promised, the Talos hath been made ready to receive its heart. Thanks in no small part to Jeric, Thaf, and Minfilia. At last, we shall return to the timeless. The sentinel, sentinel of stone, that we may press onwards to Nabatha Rang. Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna go, it's gonna, finally gonna happen. You know, I've watched videos and streams for so long that it's weird to me that someone is younger than me now. Dude, I get that with Minecraft YouTubers. Those guys are like 18, and it's like, fuck, I'm like actually not the youngest anymore. I, like, what was the song lyric? G Got used to meeting people who who weren't used to meeting someone who was born in 1990. Not that I was born in 2000 though, so lyrics lyric wrong, lol. <laughs> Very good. Let's begin. Yo. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemon. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life manager. Make ether. life through the day. All and right. All right. It's, it's the whole one, bro. <laughs> okay. There it is. Okay. Wow. I like saw, I saw like this and I was like, wow, it really goes on, huh? But <laughs> yeah. 
Go, go, go. <laughs> there it is. Man, Portal's a classic game. I tell you to play it, but you've all already played it, so. You know, I used to speedrun Portal. I just, just, you know, thought that'd be a pretty cool little tidbit of information. Don't really do it anymore these days. Kind of washed up. <clears throat> Preparations with the enchantment are complete. When the hearth had been suffused with a sufficient quantity of aether, the golem should be restored to life. Jama's 37? Right, oh my god. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I watched Jama when he played TF2. That's crazy. I used to be on leaderboards. I'm fucking not now. Now I speedrun Celeste and Minecraft <laughs> and Kugane Tower. Yo, 11 from Stranger Things moment. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We did it, boys. We did it's it. Working. It's working. Mm-hmm. Okay, so donations are also broken. <laughs> Magnus. This is Golem. Wait, this is the Stormblood song. It's like You left me for this? This wretched heap of stone and rubble. Let me have my moment. <laughs> now this was the part in Shatterbring. This is the part in Stormblood on the in the trailer. There's the tra in the Shatterbringers trailer. The part that's in Stormblood is this song. It's literally the one I sung. Yeah, I know, I know. This worthless pile of earth. <laughs> But the one they called the Warrior of Light. I, this is a pretty sad scene. I'm sorry. They did too much filler. I can't be emotional now. <laughs> For the one they called the Warrior of Light. <laughs> Wait, actually, you know what? This could be a cool scene. I'm gonna pay attention. What trouble is the child? Oh, oh, I like this cutscene. I, I've wanted like an Orion J cool uncle with Minfilia sit down talk. Now, I've wanted that for a while. I don't deserve oh. to be. I don't deserve any of the things you've done for me. I'm just a burden. Helpless and hopeless. If tomorrow came and I was gone, it would be better for everyone. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Thank Red most of all. He'll never admit it, but I can see it in his eyes. Oh my God. I wish he'd just say it. Just say that he hates me. That he wishes I was dead so that she could return. None of this is thy doing, child. Oh? Twas I who set the oracle on her path unto the first. I who condemned you all to suffer these torments. Tis my sin alone, and one that will haunt me unto my dying day. Oh my god. He hasn't even, he hasn't even said this to anyone, but he's been struggling inside the whole time. Damn. Fucking I love RNJ. On my many regrets, for the world is a tapestry of fates, interwoven and inseparable. And we who strive to better it cannot choose but make difficult decisions. For naught of worth was ever achieved without sacrifice, and thus must man ever struggle to weigh life against loss. Fucking love RNJ, man. And I really like Baby Manfilia. Thou mournest, beareth no grudge. 
The one for whom thou mournest beareth no grudge. That's my failure, right? Were she here, mm. she would not suffer thee to languish in sorrow. She would tell thee to seek thine own path, thine own purpose. Wow. It is a truth which I myself was slow to learn. Yet a truth it remaineth. Thou needst but have faith. I wish they I wish they'd fucking hug in this game, bro. Well. Orion Jay is gonna make me cry. Dude, on God, I think if any character could, it's him. You know what, dude? I think that I think that cutscene on God could have got me if I wasn't so disarmed by the 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 fucking trolley filler. Go with the... Do it. Not today. <sighs> Thank cred. Thank cred, man. It's been five years. <sighs> Kick him in the ankles? On oh, God. <sighs> Dude, that cutscene could have got me if it was if it wasn't for the trolley, man. Alright, what's happening? Oh, do we learn do we learn something like really cool here? One can only hope. To what do I owe the pleasure? is your extended stay. Oh, to the tediousness of our hero's present endeavors. That and the insufferable abundance of light in armor M. I should be glad to keep my distance. Oh, I'm rather fond of sleep, you know. It's a wonderful way to pass the time. Ah, uh, dude, I'm convinced that, 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 um... The Crystal Exarch is like a light Asian at this point. Like, j just that so everyone's on the same page. That's my prediction. I think he's like... I think the Crystal Exarch is either like Minfilia or, um... Or Hydaelyn. Probably Hydaelyn, if I could guess. You're forced to think of the two on me. Not that my compeers would agree, mind you. Always on the move, the lot of them. Like La Habrea, constantly jumping from vessel to vessel. Such fire, such determination, so much passion, fleeting and forgotten. Come to think of it, Exarch, I don't believe I've ever seen you retire to your chambers for so much as 40 winks. However do you keep your eyes from closing? He's calling him out. He's... I don't think they're going to reveal it here, though. The cold shoulder. You wound me, sir. <laughs> Always so guarded in our every interaction. Interactions you curiously Sloppy. refrain from sharing with the Scions and their champion. And risk souring your budding relationship? I think not. Much as I dislike you, there are more useful targets for her energies. And I am not in the habit of pointing her at my enemies like a weapon. Is that right? Fond of her, are you? Yeah. You continue to fascinate me, Exarch. But tell me, who are you? Oh, come on, come on, please, 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 please. Please, don't edge me like this, bro. Don't blue wall me. The once great nation whose ingenuity gave birth to this tower was shaped by my hand. As such, I know full well the wonders it can facilitate and those it cannot. 
There is nothing in these walls which could have aided you in summoning our dear friend across time and space. Come on. Come on. Much less in possession of her mortal flesh. Not even I could have performed such a feat. That's because that's because it's Heidelin. You had a hand in Alag as well. It's because the Crystal X like is Heidelin, right? You would know what I am. I am the adjudicator of the sacred history with which you dared trifle. Adjudicator. Hmm. I am keeper of this tower's boundless wisdom. The wisdom of ages without age, of everywhere and nowhere. The great work of those who tamed the wings of time and grasped the nature of the rift. Tis a boon born of the sacrifice of brave heroes who gave their lives for a brighter future. I will not see their hopes and dreams squandered. The history which led us here will be unwritten. I promise you that. He said the fucking line. He said the trailer line, Pog. What a delightfully vague answer. It's hardly I'm well, I'm Heidelin, you know. To fulfill our duties, then. On that much, we are in agreement. Vague get full of hints. Yeah. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna watch that back. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you boys. <laughs> Delightfully vague. How very Final Fantasy 14 of you. I know, I've been I've been picking up on my Final Fantasy 14 isms. I'm trying to speak more like Orion J. <laughs> My apologies for the delay. Minfilia and I have a private matter to discuss, which bringeth me to the question. How didst thou find Thancred during your search? He spoke of Minfilia, of his own accord, I see. It is well that he did, and with such candor. I attempted to broach the subject before. My intention was to ensure no words remain unspoken between them, lest tragedy inter intercede. I regret I myself... No, all too well. Alas, in the end, he refused to heed my counsel. A time will come where, where they must face the reality of their circumstances, but I have faith that all will be well in time. Now, let us not tarry any longer. The Talos and Nabatharang wait. Hell yeah. And you know what else? That's gonna be the end of stream today. And I can stream fucking next week. After the weekend, because I'm raiding this weekend. That's right, fellas. But before before I go, I'm I'm gonna chat to you guys. We're gonna talk we talk about my theories about the MSQ while I uh, fucking golden sorcerer it up. Hey man, hey man. If you guys want videos, it's gonna have to happen like this. It's gonna have to happen like this. Oh my god, it's so laggy here, bro. Oh, I hate it. What time is it? Okay, three more minutes and we get a new gate. <laughs> One more? No, 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 no. You guys always get one more. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Believers denied? No, I mean, surely that's the end, right? That was the big cutscene. There's always a big cutscene. One more is a really good point to end. <sighs> I'm already in the golden saucer, though. Fine, because I actually don't want to be in the Golden Source. This place kind of sucks. It's it's very nostalgic for me, but like it's not good for stream. <laughs> it's a good place to hang out off stream, but I'm not liking it here. I'm feeling like very overwhelmed by all the bright colors and such. Where where the fuck is it? Twine, twine, I guess. Twine. We aren't trolling, I promise. Okay, you you just said that with a Haru emote, which means I trust you. Haru viewers are like the most honest people I've ever met. It's actually crazy. <laughs> no troll? Alright, bet, bet. <laughs> Sorry. 
Full steam ahead, baby. Full steam ahead. You know what? I think it's just believers that wanted want their like their bet. Oh, oh! I think I see what's going on here. I think you guys get your trolley. I think that. I think that's what what's up. <laughs> Chat, you fucking serious, man? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Okay. All right. Bet. It would tell me if there's a lot of cutscenes about to play. It would tell me. And I'm sure it's all going to be voiced. No, true. True. <clears throat> the music's just quiet, job. Well, enough chitter chatter. <laughs> Let's get you lots of hammering. Yeah, man. <sighs> Feels good, boys. Feels good. Right, I gotta turn this off, man. That pop up. Oh, that, yes. <laughs> it's designed to open the Talus's approach. Then we can finally go to Nabatharang. You certainly can. All that remains is a final check of the control box over at the mines. You hear that, boys? Get that Talos over to the mines and keep a close eye on it around the curves, understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying it really quietly. Let us rep let us repair to the mines then. Bro, this shit better stop being voiced. Before we go, while you were away with Pint, I prepared an extra set of cartridges for you. And this one. It's the practice cartridge you gave me. Aw. Erica, thank you for the prime. Oh, not even the prime. The gifted. Whoa, all right. I know that I should have thrown it away ages ago, but I've been adding a little extra to it every day. After so many charges, I'm honestly not sure what it will do, but I wanted you to have it. For luck. I'm in Philly, right? Uh. We should hurry. Magnus and the others are probably wondering where we are. Dude, I think she's gonna die soon, man. Like, something bad's gonna happen. We got a bit of a trolley problem going on. Alright, so I can hop in the trolley now, right? I can, I can, um... You know, the path's clear now, so I can, I can take the trolley. Your tro trolley, trolley is clean and ready to go, Mr. Strumpy Rat. Thank you, thank you. It's a bit slow, isn't it? <clears throat> Tell you what, just for this quest, I'll use my fucking aeroplane. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't I, like, canonically just get flying and then, and then go? <laughs> Feels like they're setting up someone to die. Not sure if it's her or Thancred. I think, I, th I don't think it's Thancred. I think, um, I think, like, Baby Minfilia is gonna turn into... You know, I don't want to rain on her parade, but I feel like she's going to have a bit of a change soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking Americans driving on the right side of the road. God damn it. <laughs> Gotta watch out, man. Oh, 
hope Jump Jump doesn't die after all this character development. True, true. Now that would get me. It means to overtake this guy. Wait, there's a working guy right here. Can we just steal him? Oh, fuck off, man. Bro, I'm like max level for this expansion. <laughs> yeah, wow, good job, man. Oh, oh my god, it's Jump Jump. This game really does have a way with, with bringing him back, doesn't it? So this is it. We're finally going to Nabatharang. I fought long and hard about what I had to say to her, the real Minfilia. I hope when the time came, I would know. But with every step I take, I feel more uncertain. There is no reason to give up, though. Don't want so much is at stake. Thank you, all of you, for helping me get here. Now let's not keep Magnus waiting. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to play Red Mage for this one. <laughs> A little primitive looking, I'll admit, but the Dalius, da, da, the Dalius fucking stoneworks has always favored a simple, intuitive design, and that philosophy has served us well enough. Much of the trolley network uses single tracks, making it easy for the tellers to nav navigate them as needed. And plotting a route is so simple, even we can do it, which makes for even fewer accidents in transit. Speaking of which, are you ready to board? That I am. Sound up. I can sound up a bit. There you go. Just a wee bit. Man, I hope nothing bad happens to my girl here, man. Ariage? <laughs> we got Thou him. must needs carry on without me. Oh, is the trolley really loud? Is the that path it? to Nabatharang lieth open. Whilst thou travelest thither to the south, I would apprise Mistress Alize and the others of our progress. As circumstances permit, I will thereafter rejoin the hunt for the remaining light wardens. All right. So Magnus, it's just us three. Will the gate close immediately after the trolley passes through? No, it will stay open until someone closes it manually. Built that way to prevent any untimely accidents. Then you and the others can meet us in Nabatharang after giving the Yomorans the slip. Four and a half hour stream, baby. That's how it goes. Uh, Ariange. You know what? Though I'm okay with like an hour of cutscenes. I just can't do a fucking hour of quests. <laughs> If this was the whole game, I'd be happy. For everything. <laughs> Dude, I hate I don't like how she's talking. Thou needs but have faith. She's talking like she's gonna die, man. I'm not I'm not gonna let if that happen. Finished with your goodbyes, I suggest you grab hold of something. Be a shame if you took a tumble. Thanks, man. Thank you. <laughs> The tracks beyond the gate aren't in the best of shape, so the trolley can only go as far as Am Malik. Godspeed. Maybe Minfilia gets a memory wiped when she turns into rain. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a trolley scene. Fuck the trolley. I hate the trolley. He do be kind of thick, though. You know what? I'll give you that. Factory reset in Philly. Yeah, true, true, true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, we truly couldn't have done ah, this. That must be the gate. We truly couldn't have done this without all of that before. Oh, no. An, an inconspicuous bit of 
Uh oh. What? Well, so far so good. Bro, they couldn't have just fucking like hacked that? Are you serious? The impassable wooden fucking gate? Are you kidding me? Oh my Wait, god. Is that Ranjit? It's Ran How did he get past the gate? You know what? I like this guy. He kicked the trolley. <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew it would get wrecked immediately. <laughs> Go on, Renji. Are you gonna like reveal your Anassian now? Swine, aren't you? One who has mastered Gukumots fears not the blackest pit or the fieriest hell. Your deeds in the east did not go unnoticed. Long have I lain in wait, and sure enough, you did not disappoint. Had you only sworn fealty to Lord Vorthry, you'd have no cause to skulk about like frightened animals. <sighs> You will remain as you are, while I dispatch these villains. No, I won't. I beat, I, I beat like, let you. I beat like supercharged Xenos while he was like huffing Shin Shinryu's like jawed farts, bro. I, I got this Ranji guy, it's not a problem. You forget to whom you speak. Who armed you, trained you, fought and killed a thousand Sin Eaters with you. What? And when you were inevitably cut down and lay lifeless in my arms, who sought out your successor to carry on the futile struggle again and again? Oh, the previous generation of Menphilia. Interesting. We seek to bring peace to what is left of this shattered land, while these mad fools would only bring further chaos down upon us. Do not be deceived, child. Only by Lord Vorthry's hand will this dying world know a sliver of salvation. Wow, he really believes in it. I. <laughs> Who trained you? Imprisoned you? I don't know about the world, but I never asked to be saved. Psychologically scarred you. However much it hurts, and however hard it gets, it's my life, and I want to live it on my own terms. Good take. She's gonna live. She's gonna. She's gonna live. The old Minfilia is gonna die. That's what I want. That's what, it's not not a great scenario, but that's what I want to happen. You want me to abandon the ones I've traveled with, fought with, and may one day die with. They feel the same. So no, I will not be deceived. No matter what you say, I refuse to believe it's all for nothing. Hell yeah. They're everything to me. All I have and all I need. And I would gladly do anything for them. Yeah. Let us pass. Or kill me. I'm not leaving here without them. I mean, we, we don't need, it doesn't need to come to that. I mean, like, <laughs> we, could, we could kill him. How dare you? Very well. If you would cast your lot with villains, Sloppy. then you shall That's share my girl. fate. That's my girl, baby. Thank red moment. Yeah. He taunted him. <laughs> Cast Vogue. I heard what you said, and I'm sorry for all the things I've left unspoken. Maybe this isn't the time to like you have, have to the, that now. talk, Thank red. Go! Do what you came here to do. I'll not have you waste that newfound resolve on me. I feel like I I'm pr I can probably take Ranjit. Like me and Thancred, we have a better shot. I leave her in your hands. Hurry! Yeah, may maybe maybe I should handle this one, Thancred. I'm not gonna lie. I know I'm not like a tank job or anything, but like. You know, I, I just feel like it's not a... 
<laughs> dad battle. <laughs> the two dads are fighting. <laughs> the sickest custody battle ever. Not another step. Yeah. Fight is with me. That's a cool shot. I fuck with that. You think yourself a protector? Ta as if a whelp like you could be a better father to her than me. Wow, they are having a dad fight. Okay. What? You can just summon a dragon? Oh, no. He's been doing that, actually. No. He wait, wait. This is going to be Mia's Thancred, isn't it? Shit. My gun break is super low level. I don't know how to... <laughs> Come on. All right. I, I got to weave my OGCDs. Roost damage taken. Uh, probably some of that. Okay, that's the wrong button, but I, I can use this. All right, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm Thank Red. Yeah. I'm Thank Red, guys. <laughs> I'm a gunbreaker. And I'm winning. That's right. <laughs> I, I lied, kept secrets, but no more. She deserves better. A life of pain, of ceaseless conflict and despair. Guy, that's nothing for me. Ha! Yeah. This is going well. <laughs> Vanity. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Priest of my blood, answer my call. Oh my God. Oh, what? He's a reaper? That's fucking crazy. They like teased reaper like this early. They actually did. Wow. Okay. But they didn't, they didn't tease <laughs> the next one. There is no folly in hope. Wow. As I said as much myself once, I was wrong. Never again. Wow. The Dragon Reaper. I feel like it made him weaker, I'm not gonna lie. Suppose if there is no other way, there is no escape. All right. Use my mitigation for that one. Yeah. When will you learn <laughs> that your actions have consequences? Uh oh. Die. Yes, we take him to an intercardinal here. Um. And as it seems like there's no way of actually getting away. Maybe I stand here. Oh. 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 I'm owning chat. I'm stealthing. Yeah. Oh, I'm 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 using a viscerate. I'm I'm ambushing, bro. All right, I can can us, can us. Okay, I sap in a blind. Yeah, bitch. I play a rogue. 
<laughs> That's cool. I like that. <laughs> My life would be but a small price to pay. Then you shall pay it. Bide your time for a chance to strike. <laughs> cool. Just did. No problem. No problem. Dad battle. I wonder what I'm doing right now. What do you think, what do you think Pint's doing these days? <laughs> Oh, shit. Man, I'm, I'm doing like a no damage run here. I'm kind of owning. You never understood her. <laughs> Is this at the whole health bar? She's not a bird to be locked away in a gilded cage. Nah, it's got to be half HP, surely. And you presume to be her protector? Pathetic. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna go stealth mode again. Uh, ha. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, interesting. <gasps> bro, bro, that's fucked up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm owning. Oh, oh, he, he enoughed me. You have played your hand far too early, boy. Actually, I'm, I'm a man. I'm Thancred. I'm 35. Yeah. This is a bad place to be. I don't want to be here. Bro, this sucks. Alright, there we go. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh oh. Oh no, I got hit by a mechanic. I, I was doing flawlessly for so long, I was owning. <laughs> this fucking quest is so long. <gasps> this has carried on long enough, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I'd agree. <laughs> Alright, this is probably going to be harder than last time. Phileas last cartridge, I have to. <laughs> Fall. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right, he can he, he can like see me. <laughs> Wait, he's just cheating. He's cheating. I know you would fall for it a third time. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit, I'm getting I'm getting like tired. No more tricks than let us finish this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's that's cool. I kind of like that. It like shows how he's getting tired in the mechanics, and uh, doesn't let you <laughs> doesn't let you do anything about it. Call my mitigation now. Okay, that's actually cool. I got value from my mitigation. Very swag. Very nice. One last disappearing act. Were you not struggling to sa stand? I think you might be serious. Observe. Oh, 
I am deadly serious. They wouldn't kill Thancred. He still has to say this is Thancred. Fool, you think the shadows will save you? <laughs> He's so bad, bro. Oh. Okay. Oh shit, that's blood. That means someone's gonna die. <laughs> He, he hopped out you of his cosplay. You would have her suffer and die. I would spare her that fate. That is not for you or anyone else to decide ever again. Thank you. Your, your clothes, man. He teleported. That man's never dead. Ranjit doesn't die. Oh my god. You're chilling though, right? You're chilling though, right? He's chilling. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's chilling. He's dead, and then he's alive. Not get get your baited. Not a day goes by that I don't think about all that you have given me. That was thank Greg. Countless oh. memories and moments I took for granted. Gods, you grew up so fast. But you had to, didn't you? For those you had lost. Oh. For those you could yet save. Oh, he's saying all the stuff that he sh had to say, but The world didn't. teetering on the very brink of oblivion. For which you gave your everything. Without hesitation. Your kindness. Your compassion. Your love. Then and now. You know what? I like to think that that old Minfilia One last time would hear this. With a little help. I'm so proud to have been a part of your life. I like to think that she can hear this right now. Cause she's like she's like a light asking. She's like omnipresent. Oh Minfilia. No, he's alive. He's 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 that that is Thancred. No, that that still currently is Thancred. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> dead in the first doesn't mean dead in the source, right? You know what? Actually, true. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you don't die in real life if you die in, in the game. Oh, cool! My fucking spinning wheel soul. <laughs> No! Thancred, no! No! Thancred, I, I... That's right, he got really into the... He, he fantasia into a Lalafell. I forgot. No! No, Thancred! He's, he really is dead. Fuck. Damn. Anyway, um... <laughs> You know, you know what's like funny about that? It means there's no male heroes in my FC, <laughs> so no one could thank Reddit up. <laughs> this was thank Reddit.
No, 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 no. Thancra's still alive. He's all good. He's fine. Unless they show him getting, like, fucking impaled, he's fine. See, he's all good. He's all good. You're gonna find out he really died and feel bad about making jokes through his death scene? Yeah. You know what? Maybe I will. And maybe that's what's wrong with having fake character deaths all the goddamn time. <laughs> Honestly, it would be pretty cool if Thancred was, was a Moogle. Pint's gonna feel worse about it as time goes on. Yeah, no, honestly, on God, if anything sad ever happens, it's sad to me after the fact. It's very hard for me to, like, like feel that sad right in the moment, but when I reflect, that's usually when it comes to me. Can we get another Yashtola death? Yeah. Yeah. Um... I, I feel like if they were to kill Thancred, they would probably give it a bit more definitive finality, you know? They, I, I feel like if they were to really kill a Scion, they would they would leave no fucking room. They, they would have- they would leave no room for like- they might be alive. Like Papalamo? There's like no way Papalamo's alive. No fucking way. Hoshifan? No way he's alive. Feels like they usually save deaths for a, a patch MSQ. That too, that too. Mombrita. Yeah, Mombrita fucking disappeared. They're not just gonna have Thancred lay down in a desert and die. But that's fine. Like it, it's not like it's not like him not being dead is bad writing. I think it's good that that he's, you know, he just passed out. It's a it's a it's a that's like the end of like a an episode of a Netflix show. And then the next the, the start of the next episode is him being alive. And like well, you know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Work it. Wrong way, but you know, I'll take it. Can I just do show R? No, I can't. All right, there we go. Hey, he passed out. He passed out. It's fine. I mean, maybe he did die in in the first, but he does say this is Thancred at some point, so. Maybe he says it during a trust that, that I've already done, so who knows? But, you know, probably not. <laughs> he became a really good character after all his mistakes. I, I hope that he gets to say that shit directly to Minfilia. At the very least. Because what I think is going to happen, I think now Minfilia is going to lose her memory or something. Mm-mm. <clears throat> I, I think I think she's gonna I think she's gonna lose her memory. Maybe she, she might even forget who Thancred was, which would be crazy. I can't believe that Thancred fucking died. Yeah, it's cr that's wild. It's crazy that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if, if they finish this expansion without bringing Thancred back, then well done, well done. But they they always do this shit, man. They, they always do it. I like this game a lot. I love the story, but they do do a hell of a lot of fake deaths. So I, I don't believe them unless they're overwhelmingly obvious. <laughs> Alright, fellas. That that now is going to be it. So, uh, actually, thanks for making me do that one. That that was a good one to end on. <laughs> Wait. Poopophilia? Oh. Oh, uh... Yeah, no, I can see why the philia part of that can be a bit contentious. Just one more turn in the quest, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, I'll turn in the quest. I, I'll turn the quest in. All right, yeah. Anything for you, chat. Anything. I, anything you could ask. This is it, Pine. This is where she stopped the flood. Really? I wish I could look behind me. This sounds really interesting. The last time I was here, I felt her presence overwhelming me. I tried to pretend it wasn't, it wasn't happening, to just turn away. But I can't turn away now, not this time. For Thancred and the others, I have to face her. <laughs> yeah, you guys are fucking junkies. In the event that you leave the area, speak with the apprentice engineer at twenty. Okay, cool. It's good to know. All right. Well, with that, I'm gonna end stream. Right, chat? I'm gonna end stream now. I'm, I'm allowed to do that. Right, chat? <laughs> Let's see. Is Haru live? Oh, Haru's not live today. Lamau. Lamau. No Haru raid. Lamau. Lamau. 
Not because I'm just going to end. <laughs> All right, fellas. No, no one more. No more. That's a good place to end it. You, you got to have your vegetables too. All right. I'll see you guys uh, next week. Probably at like... Let's see. What time am I going to... Uh, what day am I going to stream? I'm thinking maybe Wednesday. I think Wednesday is a good one. Because I got my ultimate on Sunday. I got D&D &D on Saturday. So I think I think Wednesday I'll be free. Because that gives me Monday and Tuesday to do some video stuff. So Wednesday I'll be back to stream a bit more. Or may maybe even earlier. Fuck, maybe Tuesday. Depends Depends how much I get, get my video done. But probably, probably Wednesday. Is Wednesday a five-day break? Is it actually? Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hey, look, video, video time. You know how it is. All right, fellas, that'll be it. I'll see you later. Have a good time. That's the end of my stream. Oh, um, if you guys are like kind of new here on my fucking uh, highlight channel, what's it called? Uh, what is it? Socials. While I was streaming, a video uploaded of uh, when I met Emmett Selch. So if you're interested in that, it's over there at Pint Live. Promo, promo, blah, 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 blah. Did you guys know Hypixel follows me on Twitter? Also, Jenna Miari follows me on Twitter. S-Fan follows me on Twitter. Basically, I'm like the coolest fucking guy in the world.